Accolade presents uh, some 3D platforming for us. What a treat with beloved video game mascot Bubsy. Bubsy's very popular. He had two games in the 16-bit era. Now this was his jump to 3D. Let's learn about the story behind it. So just from that intro, I mean, I'd be on the side of, of the Woolies. What is this thing invading their home? How do we get rid of it? I'm not sure why we are playing Bubsy uh, in this role. But as we can see, here's Bubsy. Here is the full name of the game. Bubsy is 3D in Forbidden Planet. So Bubsy is on the planet of his enemies, the Woolies, who he was fighting in the first two games, I suppose. And he has to find a way off the planet. So, that's what this is. Now, oh, hold on. Oh, do we get an attract mode? Do we get to see some professional Bubsy 3D gameplay? Get some, some tips on how this should go. So, one thing you might notice when we first look at Bubsy 3D is it kind of hurts to look at a little bit. It has a unique look. Very unique. Even among PlayStation 1 games, many of them don't look like this. Or sound like this. Yeah. 
Of course, a famous story behind Bubsy 3D is that when they were making this, they did not know about Super Mario 64. And apparently, Bubsy 3D and Mario 64 were debuted at the same show. That's got to feel real bad. Still, I mean, it's very clear what you're looking at. Very crisp, razor sharp, bubsy. Also, the music just makes it sound like you're gonna have a bad time. That's got to be deliberate, right? That se that seems like it's on purpose. And listen to that. The music sounds like it hates Bubsy. Well, okay. Here are the levels. You know how this goes. We're starting from the beginning. I've never played it before. Playing until we reach credits. Uh, so what is this? It looks like it's saying that there are 18 stages of Bubsy 3D. Let's begin at the beginning. It's the only place we can begin. So, from what I've seen of this game, and from watching the Bubsy tr uh, pilot, the animated series pilot, it seems like Bubsy's whole thing is he's constantly cracking jokes, and it's never funny. He's full of personality, but it's a personality I don't think anyone wants. Anyway, here we go. So, we're not using analog sticks. This was before analog sticks. This is D-pad. Let's jump. When we jump, the camera pans down so we can see where we're going. We can glide in the air. Duck. Okay, L2 and R2, like, do a little strafe hop. I don't know. I wonder how useful that would be. Yeah. All right, if you pause the game, you get uh, just a full face-on view of Bubsy. Look into the face of despair. He doesn't look like he's having a good time. Let's, all right, let's let's get going. All right, grab the atoms. There's another question mark, but let me grab some atoms. Bubsy says I should grab as many as I can. Oh, there's some over there. That's Bubsy's face surround orbited by 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 protons and neutrons. What's this? No, actually electrons, yes. I know what's in an atom. Alright, so what I'm thinking right now as I'm controlling Bubsy, manipulating Bubsy's body, his forward ex acceleration is much greater than that of his turning speed. So, like, turning while you're running I don't think is happening. You're gonna have to stop if you want to turn. Oh, yeah, yeah. I tried to turn left there. That wasn't happening. So... Bubsy very much feel... I, I need to think about... Controlling Bubsy is like driving a car. That's what it feels like. Just gotta think about him in those terms. Alright, let's see what this says. Nope. No. See, I tried to, to run into it. I just ran, ran completely past it because his turning... Is so little compared to his forward speed. It's a good point, Bubsy. It is a platform game. These arrows... Uh, uh, are these arrows anything? Or are they just showing me the direction? Oh, look! An arrow! Aren't these game designers wonderful? Giving you a guidepost to help you find your way? How convenient! 
That is nice of them. They're letting me know I need to go this way, but maybe I should also check out the platform. So, Bubsy's voice, as you may know, voiced by uh, Lonnie Manella, who has done many, many roles. You might remember her as Rouge the Bat from the Sonic series. You may remember her as Eriko from Illbleed. Large range of voices. The reason I'm mentioning that is just... Oh, I fell. The reason I'm mentioning that is just to point out is that the reason Bubsy talks like that is because uh, someone wanted him to. Like, she can do a bunch of voices. He was clearly directed to do this. Okay, he can grab the edges. That's good. Gimme, gimme, gimme. He loves getting these atoms. Oh. Man, my mo forward momentum was too great. Uh-oh, enemies. Does Bubsy have anything to educate me about here? He wants me to bop them. So I'm pretty sure when he when he says bop them, they he means he wants me to jump on them and and kill them, which we will do now. Which we'll do that now. Yeah. Then. Wow. I like how that reference had nothing to do with what was happening on screen. Bubsy takes certain existential questions in stride. He just referred to losing a Bubsy, which means him dying. But it's fine, because we gained a Bubsy. He will be replaced by another Bubsy when he dies. And he's, you know, you know what? He's okay with that. See that thing in front of you? That's a switch. Just run into it to make something cool happen. All right. Ball. That was very cool. Should we go that way? Is there any other things we could get around here? I don't think so. I have a feeling gonna be I'm going to be running past things frequently. Yeah, so we can hold it and shoot it. We saw this in the attract footage. That's a weapon. But he also wants me to collect a bunch of them. Oh, here comes a platform. Should I jump across this wall, or should I get more atoms? What is this? Telescope? Yeah. Hmm? Mm hmm? All right, it's gone. Telescope was just letting me know there's something over that wall. Controls feel real weird. I mentioned that Bubsy controls like a car. And as I'm doing this, the thing I'm thinking about mostly is that Bubsy is a cat. And usually when you think of a cat, you might think of, you know, nimble, agile movement. If you were trying to think about how the, how the cat character might control. 
And man, this is that's not this. That is not this. Oh. Well, I took all the atoms. I can still kill him. If Bubsy is so bloodthirsty. Oh, I, I got hit. There, I murdered him. I can't jump over it. Maybe I had to shoot him with the atom to destroy the wall? Maybe that was very specific. So we, we got a look. The telescope showed us something. There's something over that wall. But how might get one get over it? I don't think I can... Can I jump on these? It doesn't seem like it. Like, they're too high for me to reach. Is there anything I could use to get a boost? Well, we destroyed this wall. are pointing that way, but it looks like the path right now is over that. Oh no, this is the checkpoint. That's This is where we came from. Right. So we cleared this out. Okay, so the next thing to do, I guess, was this platform. But that is taking us away from those other walls. But how do we get past them? All right. Maybe I should try... I missed. There. I hit one. Did I? Maybe. Still alive. There we go. Apparently I'm not supposed to hold on to them for too long. Yeah. That's, that's what- I guess that's what happens. So Bubsy does have a weapon, but the weapon can also hurt him. I feel like jumping on them... Prob whoops, it's prob probably the safer thing to do, though they can shoot at me. And you can combo jump. That is a thing we can do. Alright, other area in there. Anything we miss over here? Here's a, here's a tip. It's not really a specific, it's not really a clear explanation of what that does, Bubsy. I would prefer a more, you know, a clearer explanation as to what to expect when I grab this. Alright, can I just kill them now? Am I invincible? Apparently so. We don't get, like, any invincibility music or anything. I have over 100 things.
Like, I have to get all of them, clearly. Okay, we can go up that platform. Oh, there's one I didn't get. Hold on. I'm having a little trouble discerning death depth in this. Like, things are not quite exactly where I think they're going to be. All right, though, no, there is... There's Bubsy's logo on the other side of this lake. The arrows are telling me to go that way, which of course means we should go this way first. Let's see what we get. You know, in that demo, the the player controlling Bubsy was moving pretty quick. I'm not exactly sure how they were doing that. Platform. That platform's moving. We activated it. Bubsy died. Where do we start? From the checkpoint. I th oh, we already... We, it, it, we kept the atoms. <clears throat> we already kept... We keep the atoms we collected. Okay, so Bubsy, being a cat, clearly hates water. Dies. What happened there? Well, let's go get the other one. Was but did Bubsy have some kind of seizure? Is he so excited about getting rocket pieces? What, that, 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 that. So I died when I touched the very edge of the water, like not even submerging Bubsy. His foot touched the water. All right, level one done. <clears throat> Is that a password? Do we not save? I thought I thought there was a save and load thing on the menu. Or is this a password protect- this is like a game with passwords. I don't know. I, there's like something there. There's a code there. I don't know what that's for. <clears throat> Bubsy is so proud of all of these print- these pressed Bubsy 3D discs. Bubsy making the leap to three dimensions. Before most other video game characters. Bubsy ahead of the curve. We missed one rocket. Yeah, we saw where the other one was. It was behind a wall. The telescope showed us, but I didn't know how to get behind the wall. All right. So we could pl we could replay level one if we wanted to. To get that second rocket. Um, I wonder if that means if we go through the entire game, does it, like, save which rockets you got and then you could go back? I mean, that we'll deal with that. We'll deal with that as we go for right now load or save game okay here we go uh nope save just want to be just want to be very sure what i'm selecting before i press a button save card one okay okay save save it we can save a game i don't know what the passwords are for Maybe if you don't have your save, the passwords, you could, like, if you wrote, the, wrote your passwords down, you wouldn't... Maybe if you don't have a memory card. You know, kids maybe didn't have the money to buy new memory cards. So then, like, maybe they could just write down the password. Maybe that's what that's for. Level two. Claustrophobic. It's very good. And they had to think up so many cat puns for these levels. All right, well, let's clear it out. Oh, what's that? N no, what is that? Bubsy. I have to I have to do better at dodging those. In the demo it seemed like he he ducked to dodge it. So we will try that. 
Is this ice? Doesn't feel like ice. Like we slide a little bit, but that's just normal. That's just how he runs. I can see why in the beginning that one that one speaker at the microphone told everyone do not engage Bubsy if you see him. Call it in. So, it's a funny thing about Bubsy. I mean, there's many funny things, I guess. <clears throat> but you look, you look at Bubsy, and I feel like there's like a, a certain vibe, a certain tone he gives off, like a real. If I had to describe what Bubsy feels like, he feels like the epitome of a failed, has been, never was video game mascot. And that's not just because he is that. It's easy to say that about him in the present day. But I felt that way when he was new. Like, I was keeping up... I was big into video games, keeping up with the new releases, video game magazines back then. And Bubsy got a pretty big uh, advertise. Oh, I think I died. Yep. Bubsy got a pretty big advertising campaign, at least in magazines. Tons of ads for him. And I remember looking at Bubsy, looking at the games, and... Th well, game, uh, one game. And just thinking that he seemed like a has-been then. And that's probably just because he was late to the party on being, like, a weird video game mascot. Yes! That kind of thing was sort of dying out. It would be a little bit while yet before it had completely died out, but it wasn't the cool thing anymore. So, like, Bubsy started out feeling like a loser. I, was that deliberate? Because I'm looking at, I'm looking at this game, and I'm listening to how it sounds, and it's like the soundtrack for a loser, right? So, did they know? Was that deliberate? Oh. Like, to me, Bubsy... Bubsy feels like... the video game mascot equivalent of Gil from The Simpsons. Bubsy needs a win. Is he ever going to get that win? I don't know. I mean, I mentioned Super Mario 64. And obviously, you know, I'm not saying that this game should have been as good as that. Obviously. Like, there's, there's, there's very good reasons why it's not. But I think about like, who are you talking to? Are you talking to me? I don't know. But, I, like, you listen to the to the music here, and you think about the music in Mario 64 of, like, you know, something like Babam Battlefield. And the music in that level feels, like, it feels proud of the game it's in. And this feels ashamed. Maybe I'm projecting, but I feel like there is a big uh, vibe of self-hatred going on here with Bubsy. What's that? Like a purple and green thing. It's over that way, whatever it is. Alright, I guess I don't actually have to kill everyone. Like, I'm doing it, but there's, is there a reason to do it? Like, to make it safer to run around, I guess. 
and to to get atoms. But I, I guess they never said I had to kill them. They said do it, but they didn't say it was necessary to do it. Bubsy just likes to do it. Well, I mean, if we're... Let's think about some positives of the game. It runs pretty smoothly. And I mentioned that the game's real sharp. Because uh, a weird thing about this about this game is that it is one of the few games to run in the PlayStation 1's 480i mode. Most games run at 240p. But no, not this. Bubsy is high resolution. Oh, we saw that guy in the intro. Who is this guy? Some sort of weird electricity man. There's another telescope over there. This guy gives stupid a bad name. You just murdered him, Bubsy. You don't need to insult him, too. Rocket piece. Okay. All right, so do I just run past him, or do I actually need to take him out? No. He wasn't there when I ran into that. So I don't think it's just a matter of running past. I ran around, got a bunch of atoms. I guess we should now try to figure out how to make progress in the level. This uh, this level is just like a big field. There is a, some platforms above us. Why don't we try to do get up there? Where is the entry point to that? You're not so tough. Got me out of the air. When you're right next to them, it seems like if you're next to them and you jump, and you jump, then you you might get hit. All right, we continue on. We persevere. Oh man, I, I keep running past that. I don't mean to run past it. This turning is just so bad. What is this? First come, first served. Did that just kill everyone immediately around it? Like a POW block or something? It didn't kill everyone on the platform. Just some. There's the rocket piece. I guess the idea is I would take that path to it. Where's the start? So far, it looks like it's all too high for me to reach. Well, I mean, we do have an arrow. We, sh we, we could follow the arrows. I mean, I'm just exploring on my own here, but we could follow the directions. What does that mean, Bubsy? 
Did your granny beat you? I'm sorry if that's a personal question. It's just that you brought it up. So there's a fan right here, or something like that. Will that hurt me? I haven't seen that before. Would that send me upwards if I jumped on it? Or if I tried to... What if I gl tried to glide on it? I do have my glide move. Okay, yeah. Gliding did work. Oh, no, that's... I was going to try to glide over there. No. His glide really gets no distance at all. I mean, it's supposed to be a glide, but he drops like a stone, kind of. I don't suppose getting that invincibility would let me get past Electricity Man. We could always try it. Which direction is he in? He's that way. Oop, nope. Fa nope. Bubsy, fall off. Bubsy, it's a limited time here. Okay, it worked. Um, then go up. Oh, right there. Right there. Right, which direction are we going? All right, up here. There we go. Nope. That's a tough one. Landing on a on a narrow platform, I feel like is not going to be what. <coughs> wow. I feel like that's not going to be one of this game's fortes. All right. Well, at least we know what we should be doing. Incremental progress is the way. We have additional knowledge that we did not have before. Which means we are now much more, uh... We are much more ready to handle the obstacles that are in Bubsy's way. We just need to find one of those fans again. Oh, wait. Oh, there's a platform I could get on here. How far can we go from here? All right, yeah. We can get on this one from here. It's a teleporter. Okay. It's just a strange feeling. Controlling Bubsy, it feels like he's walking through molasses, but at the same time, it feels like he's too erratic and could come to, like, a, a crash at any time. 
remarkable to do both of those things at the same time. Oh, here's the rocket piece. Hey, Dad, Jim. There's Electricity Man. So we gotta find that fan. Wonder if you can jump on the UFOs. Like, they're higher than you, but if you were on a higher platform, could you jump down on them? Could you kill them in that way? Ah, uh, there's one. Okay, I did land on him. All right. Well, the invincibility isn't here now. So we can't use that to get past him. There has to be another way. Can I glide over him? It doesn't feel like the glide goes that far. Yeah. I just I landed right in front of him. Uh, I keep jumping... Convention. Keep jumping in front of them. My jumps are a little too short. Well, I know where the arrows are pointing. The arrows are pointing to the electricity guy. And then once I get past him, there's an arrow pointing upwards. But how do we get past him without the invincibility? There must be another way. Unless we can, like... I doubt it. That doesn't seem like what we would... It doesn't seem like that's what we're supposed to do. Yep. Went right in the fan. Well, it, at least it keeps track of the enemies we've killed and the, um... the atoms we've collected when we die. Of course, it also keeps track of all of the items we've used, which is why the invincibility is not there. Oh, wait. Can I? Uh, uh, no. Does this go over him? Oh, yeah. This look. Okay. This looks like it goes over him. <laughs> not quite. It looks like it goes over him. It would if Bubsy uh, could glide a little further. Just a little bit. This is as far as it goes. It doesn't go any further than this. As I said, you could glide, but that's the glide. Like, is there a better way of doing the glide?
I feel like a lot of the a lot of the Bubsy's one-liners really don't have much to do with with what's happening. It seems like that's the case with a lot of the dialogue in the game. You may have noticed in the intro when the aliens were having their little meeting, there was like a Simpsons reference. Someone in the audience yelled "woohoo" and then "do," and there's there's no reason for it. It's just I know that I know that thing. That's the that's the thing the character I like says. Thing, that thing. It feels good in my brain when I know the thing. Alright, so it doesn't look like this leads anywhere. And like that's way too far for me to reach. Pause. So are these. Are there two different ones of these guys? Because the other one I was at had an arrow pointing up and a fan that you flew upwards. And, like, this one is not. This one has the... Ro Even if I did get in there, how would I get up there? I can't jump that high. Is there something in there that would let me get up there? It doesn't look like it. I don't suppose I could try using... I haven't done this much. That just goes by him. Oh, did it hit me? Yeah, bounces back. I don't know, maybe it could hit him, but he moves around so fast it seems unlikely. Doesn't seem like 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 you likely you would actually hit him with it. So far the only thing we found that actually did work was the invincibility. But the invincibility like all the items uh, does vanish when you use it. Yeah, there, there are two of them. This is the other one. This is the progression in the level, I think. The arrows are pointing to it. Oh. I killed him and hurt myself at the same time? Did I hurt, hurt myself by doing that? Does the atom bounce back at you even if it hits an enemy? Maybe it does. Maybe it does. Bubsy learning the ways of the weapons. Bubsy's weapons are fierce and frightening, but they can also harm him.
So there wasn't like a cliff or... Oh, I guess that's the exit. There wasn't a cliff or anything that I could like walk over. And there isn't a higher platform I can get to above me. And we know I cannot make, I cannot make it with my, with my glide. Not even a question. Hmm. I mean, I guess there's always the possibility that you do have to use the invincibility. And that if you mess it up, then you just have to restart the level, maybe? Like, maybe that would make the items respawn. Because we don't have too many uh, options, I don't think. There's the invincibility. There's shooting him with an atom. Maybe that would work if it hit him. Um, but he moves so fast that it's unlikely you would hit him. Gliding is not going to work. If we try that. I also tried running past it. And it, it, seemed, it seemed to be the case that... You can't walk, you can't just run past even if he's not there. It seemed to be the case. Wait, no, never mind. Never mind. It seemed like I died the first time. Uh, clearly, he moved so fast I didn't realize he hit me. This is, well, this is good. This is valuable information to know. I'm learning. I need to learn the the intricacies and details of being Bubsy in three dimensions. And, you know, okay, I stayed on this time. You know, it's not going to be easy. And it's not going to be pleasant. It's not going to be fun to look at or listen to. But neither is life, okay? Bubsy just fracture his skull running into that, that rock? I wouldn't mind it if that was the case. Okay. It seems to me there are two options here when it comes to Bubsy 3D. We can wander around, we can explore, we can kill enemies, we can collect atoms, or we can just keep on the lookout for arrows and head straight there. Look, we already missed a rocket. Doesn't even matter now if we miss any more. We're gonna save a game. Okay, third level. This was actually, this was the one in the demo. Catatomic Catastrophe. Alright, arrow says point this way. So that's where we're going. Is anything moving? No. So we could go that way. We could go that way. This one is moving. Yeah, Bubsy, when he, when he gets up to speed, controlling Bubsy feels like you're controlling a runaway car. You're just barely hanging on. Arrow says this way. That looks good to me. 
I'm very happy he can, he can grab these. Not entirely sure how to deal with the UFOs. I well, I know we, that we can stomp on them like other enemies, it's just that they're higher up. And even if I had an atom to throw, could I throw up? It doesn't seem like I can. It doesn't seem like it. I can't reach that, can I? No, no I could! I could! We're out! I appreciate there are little animations like this at the end of each level. Uh oh, who was who was Bubsy meeting at the end there? Someone in a spotlight. I did not get any rocket pieces, and we just have to live with that. Why is Bubsy grinning so much? What does he have? To who, who is he to feel so happy? Uh, how is he to feel so good about himself? Why does Bubsy think he deserves happiness? Alright, so I'm looking at this level list, and it looks like the one we're on does not have any rocket pieces. But that's not what I meant. Uh, it takes so long to go back to, back and forth between these menus. All right, what do we got? Wooly bully, and I guess Bubsy's brain is being melted, which I'm fully in. in I'm in. I'm approving in that. Approving. Okay. Oh, it's math. We're in a math level. Okay, that going outside the arena hurts us. Well, kills us. Okay, he's up there. There's some squares that are red. Doesn't seem... His shot hurts me, but, you know, I would have already guessed that. Alright, can I... I like... Okay, landing on... It's a painful death. It's a painful death. I hope he felt every second of that. Alright. The camera... Let's see. I can see when... I... Well, when he's above... Nope. There was a point where I was able to see him on the camera when I was jumping up. I'm wondering, can I hit him from below? Right, right now he's off of the platform. I would say no. Okay, now he's no, no, no. There, no. I think I got shot when I did that. No, I died. Okay, so does jumping up into his platform, does that just hurt Bubsy? Because I was thinking maybe that's what we do to hurt him. Uh, maybe that is wrong. Why are some of these squares red? 
What if I made him shoot the red squares? Does that mean anything? It doesn't look like it. How long do these last? Okay, not long. They vanish after like a few a couple seconds. So he jumps up, lands, and then it shoots. There are no atoms around. Shoot at him. Can I duck him? Duck these things? No. It doesn't seem like I can jump up high enough to hit platform. Or if I do, it's just hurting me. Game over. Continue? He looks so happy. He's just, he's just happy to be here. Well, we made, we made no progress, so it's fine. So he's constantly shooting. And I can dodge by jumping. But don't touch the stains. If time, if time goes by, will he ever do anything differently? As mentioned, if I leave the platform, that kills me. There's some way I could reflect the shots back at him. All right, I'm... He can't seem to hit me from here. Well, I guess at least we can see now if something happens, if, if enough time passes. I don't- I kind of think it's not gonna. I'm, I'm feeling like he's just gonna keep doing this. So it's not a matter of outweighting him. That- that's just my assumption. Bubsy is impatient, clearly. He's wondering, am I actually- yeah, he wants me to do something. Sorry, Bubs. What? Bubsy, you're in the middle of a boss fight. You don't have time for this nonsense. All right. He's not going to do anything different. Oh, did I just... Okay, I don't know why I died. I was running away from the stain. Some... Oh, no, no. It's so hard to stop. All right, some of the squares are red. What does that mean? Doesn't mean anything. Like, it could just be the border... Nothing's happening if I run or jump on him. And I've tried getting him shooting the things. Doesn't seem like anything happens when he shoots them. I like how our little strafe jump was not enough to even jump out of the puddle. Just making sure that jumping at the platform doesn't hurt him. It only hurts Bubsy. That seems to be the case.
curious. You're so limited in what you can do here. Doesn't seem like, you know, I try to stop myself from doing that, and I just can't stop him from running off the edge. Seems like the edge is instant, like going off is instant death. It doesn't seem like there's a way to. Uh, uh, doesn't seem like there is a way to survive that. This would have killed Arnold. There's nothing to work with. I don't suppose trying to glide somewhere is not going to work, because why would it? Ducking didn't seem to do anything. So it seems like this boss... Hmm, it seems like this boss has figured out that all he has to do is just stay higher than Bubsy and just not give Bubsy anything to work with. And then, well, what's he gonna do? Actually, going on on the floor does teleport me. I can actually stay on this, like, side here. Okay, no, that eventually teleported me. I guess doing that's not actually killing me. It, it can teleport me into the stains. Actually, it just teleported me right into the last one he shot. Is there, like, a... Is there any indication as to where it would teleport you? I mean, it doesn't seem like that could be reliable, since it does frequently just teleport me into the goop. Well, at least it doesn't... at least it doesn't hurt me, but it's just preventing me from leaving. We have math on the walls. Our opponent here is riding a calculator. He loves math. His calculator shoots ooze, as calculators do. We can glide. We can jump. We can duck. We can, like, we have, like, a really pathetic strafe. Like, it's a really bad strafe. L1 and R1 doesn't do anything. He jumps up, and then hits the calculator, which causes it to shoot the slime. Anything we can do to actually reach him? Doesn't seem like it. But, maybe... It does feel like I'm missing something, so maybe we might have a, a, a tome that might help us. We do have the Bubsy 3D manual, which I skimmed. What does it have to say? Can it give me any any sage advice in this trying time? Well, the introduction says, So you want to be a video game star, huh? Well, you come to the right place, buddy!
Trapped a gazillion miles from Oith with no way to get home, you gotta get Bubsy through 16 levels of alien weirdness. Find enough rocket pieces to get back to Terraforma and defeat the combined strength of the entire woolly military. No sweat, right? Well, if you need any help, read on. Okay, I do need help, Bubsy. I do. Uh, let's see. Can it give me any help? about what I need to do. Like, the the control description is pretty detailed. It says, here's the description for pressing up on the D-pad. You want to get Bubsy going? You press this key. He'll take off running like he's a video game character or something. The longer you hold up, the faster he'll go. Like, they give, like, detailed descriptions of what the D-pad directions do. <clears throat> um, let's see. Ba like, press down is backwards. Left and right, turn left and right. Select is pause. Well, when the game is paused, I could press select to quit the level. Start pauses. Uh, press square. He can grab an atom. Don't hold the atoms too long. They'll blow up in your face. Triangle makes Bubsy glide. Uh, Bubsy get... Which gets Bubsy more distance than the jump, but less height. When he's underwater, Bubsy can go underwater? It turns Bubsy into a Bobcat torpedo that pops any bad guy's bubble. I guess there's underwater levels at some point. The cross button, uh, let's see, you can, it makes you go hippity hoppity down the Bobcat trail. When you're underwater, the button makes Bubsy swim up. Circle button, it's duck. You'll be ducking a lot. Woolies will be throwing everything except the kitchen sink. When you're swimming underwater, you can't duck. Make you swim down. <clears throat> L2 and R2 move Bubsy left and right without facing him one of those directions. Some games call that strafing. We prefer to use a more precise term, side hopping. Why doesn't anyone call it side hopping? Why did no one ad adopt that terminology? Uh, oh, L1 and R1 do actually do something. Um, if you hold that button, use the directional buttons to move the camera around and get a good look. R1... Bubsy not moving fast enough for you? Press this to go turbo. Really? Is that, is that a run button? Hold on. I mean, I don't know if that helps now. Or in this level. Also, it's so hard to control them to begin with. Yeah, actually, it, it is a run button. Oh, man, but... His control doesn't get any better if you do that. Like, he just becomes even more of a runaway car. Like, I mean, even if I... <laughs> he doesn't look like he's having a good time. Even if I knew about that, I would not be using that button. Unless there's, like, a, like just a straight line. A wide straight line that you can't actually fall off of. Then I'd use it. But, man, uh, this is... You gotta be careful with that one. Let's see. Uh, let's see. Actions. Jumping. You think Bubsy's jumping is no big deal? Well, why don't you try jumping more than twice your own height? Go ahead, Smarty. I dare ya. Gliding. It's commonly known in scientific circles that a bobcat's natural ability to glide is rivaled only by squirrels that wear old leather pilot's helmets. If you ever come to a chasm and you don't think a regular jump will make it across, gliding might give you those few extra feet you need. That is a lie. Like, it, it, the gliding was helpful when we had fans, but you get no distance at all. There's shooting atoms. We don't have any atoms in this level. There's swimming. There's no body of water here. Torpedo. When he's swimming, presses glide, he turns himself into a high-speed torpedo. Riding cars. Late in the game, there's a few levels where Bubsy feels the need for speed. He can ride cars. Look around with L1. Okay. The screen says lives, atoms, hits, air, timer, damage. You should avoid getting hit by woolies, of course. Running out of lives. There's save load password. Uh, we have lists of enemies. Okay, actually, it's, it is. it has an entry for the boss. It's. It says his name is Nerd. 
All it says is this guy's pocket calculator is so powerful, even Bill Gates is jealous. And with all those fireballs flying around, those are fire? You can get a hot foot really fast. Bill Gates well known for his extremely powerful calculator. Let's see, Adams. Ten shots, one-ups, invisibilities, invincibilities, rockets, question marks, telescopes, arrows, air tanks, rocket cars, paddle creatures, switches, platforms. Uh, let's see. You know, we're not on... Doesn't seem like it. Doesn't seem like we're on, like, a particular platform here. Propellers, teleport arches, continue markers... Turbines, mook. Why is it called mook? You don't want to get anywhere near this stuff or you're in for a shocking experience. Woolly heads. Bonus levels. Oh, if we finish a level with 150 or more atoms, we get a bonus level. Wow. There's a deathmatch mode with two players? There's a hints section. Be on a lookout for walls that are colored differently. You could shoot them, shoot them with atoms. Okay. That's how you, I guess that's how we were, were supposed to get past the walls in the first level. The secret walls. Use duck every once in a while. Floors with a black and white checkerboard pattern teleport you elsewhere when you land on. Okay, so I guess this boss level is probably not the only one that is going to have a checkerboard pattern. Um... But what does... Hmm, does that help us at all? Willie totem pole, riding in cars, grab oxygen underwater. You can jump further from a running jump than standing jump. Two-player game, you can shoot through walls. Always grab atoms. Ah, okay. The hint section just says what to do here. Use the heat from the nerd's fire bombs to glide up and bop him. Uh, the heat is a source of lift, is it? Is that right? You see, I did not... Okay, two things. One, I don't even interpret this as fire. And two, I would not interpret like a, a, a hot part of the platform to be a source of lift. I mean, we're going to try it. Yeah, there, yeah, there we go. So I can only assume that during playtesting, a lot of people must have had a lot of trouble figuring that out, and they ended up putting that in the manual. I wonder if there was, like, an argument over that. Like, someone probably felt, no, they don't need hints. They can figure it out. It's a completely logical puzzle. They can figure it out. You don't need to put a hint in the manual. Big argument over whether or not they should put that line in there. <clears throat> I bet someone felt very protective about their cool boss fight they made. Their cool puzzle, puzzle boss fight. Still, I get no distance at all, really, from doing this, so... Uh, it is... Whoop. I have to get above him, and then come down hard. Okay, that's... For some reason, I'm not gliding. Why am I not gliding now? Get a, get a little bit of a running start, maybe, before I do it. Uh. 
No, not quite. It's pretty hard. He's off the camera. Camera cannot follow Bubsy's moves. I wish Bubsy's glide was a little better. Uh, he doesn't have to be a lot better. It would go a long way if it was just if you got a little more distance from this glide. Almost there. He blows through the air. Bubsy really should not be yelling one-liners at a time like this. I mean, he may be feeling good about this. He might be. Oh, I think I might... Did I get him that time? It didn't feel like I hit anything, but it sounded slightly different. Yeah, I do have to go a little bit further than I think I have to. That's fine. It's fine. We're, we're getting it. We're making it happen. It's amazing how unsatisfying the feeling of hitting him is. Nope, had to go even further.
Nope. I was I wasn't sure when it faded to black who hit who. All right. It is not Bubsy. It is not. Too early. We did it. We we killed the nerd on his calculator. I doubt I would have figured out the solution. Um we're gonna we're gonna save a game. So f I feel like the solution that solution is only something I would have worked out accidentally, like not deliberately. Be I guess the mindset is that you need to realize what he's shooting is fire, and then fire would make heat, and hot air rises. So if you glide over those hot patches, you would go up. Like, that's the train of thought, right? I don't think... I don't think it looked like fire. I don't think it looked like those tiles were on fire. And even if they were, that wouldn't just make you rise up. Like, the fans I was able to understand, that, that was clear. I don't think this one was. Um, and even when we figure that out, it, you know, it took some time to work out the distancing on how to slam Bubsy's ass onto, onto the alien. It took, it took a bit. So that's our first boss fight. Looking at this uh, lineup here, we can see that there is a, a, a level on the second row that does not have any rockets. I would guess that is a, another boss fight. The rest of them do have rockets, including the last level. Wow, the second to last level, is that evil Bubsy? Is that big boss Bubsy? Is, is Bubsy going to confront his dad to find out that he's a clone of the original big Bubsy? Man, the, the, the drama in store for us tonight. I can't wait. I, I'm going to take a little break right now uh, as we've completed the first four levels of Bubsy 3D. And I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Bubsy is 3D in Forbidden Planet is the full name. And, um... Yeah, I'm, uh, it's kind of amazing. I mean, you have to release a game at some point, right? At some point, no matter how the game is, sometimes you just got to get out the door. And you got you just hope for the best. I guess that's what happened with Bubsy 3D. Yeah, let me just uh, read you something from the back of the Bubsy box. Uh, one of the quotes here from PS Extreme is dot 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 underwater based levels very reminiscent of Mario 64. I enjoy that quote because it. It's not praise. It's just a quote that had Mario 64's name in it. That's like a quote comparing this game to Mario 64 in some way. So they put it on the box. It's not like, I don't know. It's not like, a, it's not saying that it's a good thing. It's just saying, hey, it's kind of like Mario 64. From a diehard game fan says, Massive environment, go anywhere gameplay, and amazing depth give Bubsy an entirely new perspective. You know what What I remember about Die Hard Game Fan? They loved everything. They loved terrible games. Um, like, they were incredibly optimistic. 
And they, I mean, that's not necessarily a bad thing. But they were not critical in the slightest. At least that's the way I remember them. It's not surprising that a quote, that a quote from them, they have a positive quote from Die Hard Game Fan about Bubsy on the box here. And then from Next Generation, dot, 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 establishing a new standard in the platform genre. I want to know what that full sentence is. What is this dot, dot, dot bullshit, Bubsy 3D? What was the first part of that sentence? <laughs> establishing a new standard in the platform genre. <laughs> that could be anything in the, in the first part of this sentence. I need to know, I need to look up that review and find out what that full sentence is. For right now, though, I'm going to take a break. We'll return back to Bubsy 3D. Oh, yeah. Let's get going. Give it to me, Bubsy. Give me everything you've got. I can take it all. What's what what's next? What do we got next? Missing links because he's a cat. And this is an underwater level we see. What pe oh, this is nice music. He does have an oxygen meter. Oh no. <laughs> You can hear the... You can hear that... That bubsy rhythm. Like that noise. In the music track. So as usual... Oh yeah, we're just following the arrows. As is, as is usual. Let's see. Down is there. It's up, and we also have our torpedo attack. Oh, that uses a lot of air. Don't wanna... I got killed. Wow, underwater mimic. I think we got custom death animations. That's nice. Right. Do I need to do anything? And he comes right at me. Maybe I should just stay away from him. I'm surprised that Bubsy wanted to go underwater at all, considering how very quickly he dies. Dogfish, huh? What big cheese you have. How quickly he dies when he touches water. That's an air tank. Where are we going? Does it not want me to go past that? Maybe not. Bubsy's having a lot of bad luck with these treasure chests. Let's see if we can notice any arrows. An arrow says to go this way. Can I do it without getting attacked by the starfish? What is that? Is that just like... Am I going out of bounds and it's teleporting me back into bounds? Right, 
Arrow says keep going this way. go. Oof. This is hard to dodge in the water. But Bubsy never gives up. Like, Bubsy knows you don't have to be talented or charismatic or handsome or particularly good at anything as long as you're persistent. Persistence will get you a long way. Ability. Feel like a million. <laughs> Ran out just before he get, he, bo he bopped me. Triple bop me. Bubsy moves extremely slow underwater. Alright, so the run button does let him swim faster. I wonder if that uses up air faster. I don't think it does. I don't think it does. He also does have his torpedo attack. Alright, that did work against that guy. It does use a lot of air. Well, we have found some air tanks. What? What? I don't know. Things are happening in this level that it's, it's unclear to me why they happen. So those guys on the bottom are breathing air bubbles, and the air bubbles hurt me. The air, the air bubbles hurt me. <laughs> Gotta keep track of what's around me. same time. It's easy to use my air. Try to dodge enemies when I can. I only use the torpedo when it's necessary.
go through. Just you can do it. You can do it, Bubs. There we go. He did it. He did it. And as roughly as Bubsy controls normally, uh, the underwater level is much rougher. Are there more underwater levels? It looks like he lost his helmet. So maybe we're maybe we're just maybe we're maybe it was just that. Still, that was the best music in the game so far. I have a feeling once we're back on the surface, it's just gonna... We're gonna go back to whatever this style of music is. Which I'm... You know, talking about what is, what is this music? I guess I might describe it as something like you're having a nightmare about the circus. Is what this makes me think of. But why, what does that have to do with Bubsy? Dome, sweet dome. Well, it looks like we're flying over water. No, no, that's ground. That's just... That was ground. That was too far. Well, maybe it doesn't matter. What does this say to do? It says to go that way. Alright, over there. How do we get over there? I don't think I can run up there. Can I just... Okay, yeah, that's low enough to jump on. Can I jump on it from there? Okay, yeah, I can. It's fine. It's fine, we can just jump over that. Bubsy acknowledging that the truth of his existence is that he is a cartoon. Even though he is not, he is a video game character. Made of polygons this time. It's not the same thing. Bubsy thinks he is aware of the true nature of his existence, and yet he is not. He has the confidence of someone who believes that he knows the truth of himself. But the ignorance of someone who does not realize the true depths of the horror of what it means to be Bubsy. And again, maybe the ignorance is deliberate. Maybe Bubsy just decides he'll be happier this way. He doesn't ha he doesn't need to ponder the truth. He can just believe whatever he wants to believe. He can believe that Bubsy Bobcat is whatever Bubsy Bobcat wants it to be. And maybe in that way, we all have a lesson we could learn from Bubsy. lesson that maybe you don't need to let the world define you and who you are. You can define yourself despite what the world tells you.
Maybe that's what the uh, exclamation mark on Bubsy's shirt. Maybe that's what it means. I was a little bit puzzled about why is that his icon? What does that mean? Maybe the symbol on the shirt is supposed to refer to a constant state of epiphany. Bubsy realizing some inner truth about himself. Which he is constantly doing. Maybe that's what his eternal struggle against the Woolies represent, really. No, it's not about the eternal struggle between Bobcat versus Aliens. But rather, the Woolies represent some sort of... Some sort of collective consciousness. The Woolies all agree on what reality is, and they agree on reality because they all say that it is reality. Bubsy represents the individual who rejects the Woolies' version of what reality truly is. It does not, doesn't mean that Bubsy is correct. It means that Bubsy prefers his own version of things. And doesn't want to have to be... Doesn't want his identity to have to be determined by others. For Bubsy, even depth, death is performative. Not so for the Woolies. When you kill a Woolie, they die when you try the level again. They're just dead permanently. Bubsy, on the other hand, can just come back as many times as he wants. He makes a mockery of death. Like the thing we just saw there, where he spun around and fell down holding a flower, and then his spirit left his body. To Bubsy, death is nothing. It's a joke. Something to be made light of. For it's not something that Bubsy needs to be concerned about himself. He'll bring it on to others. And in the intro, we saw that the Woolies were very concerned about what Bubsy was going to do to them. As well, they should be worried. Keep jumping a little too... In, keep jumping in front of them instead of on top of them. So the Woolies scattered at the beginning, at the sight of Bubsy. When he appeared and said, What could possibly go wrong? To Bubsy, nothing. Nothing could go wrong. Because if something goes wrong, he can just do it again. Can you? Do you have that luxury? None of us do. Only Bubsy. Only Bubsy. And so we have to ask ourselves, whose side do we take? Well, Bubsy, of course, represents the power fantasy. Everyone wants to be Bubsy. As Bubsy makes a joke of life. He carouses, preens and prances around danger. And does not care if his skin melts from his bones, if he dies from exposure to radioactivity. It's nothing to him.
but do you have any sympathy, any empathy for the collective, for the Woolies, who are scared for their lives in the face of the monster? Or do you just say that is the way it should be? They are mediocre beings who need each other. Not like Bubsy. I guess what I'm asking you is, do you subscribe to the great cat theory? That the world is, that the world is, can only be changed for the better by the brilliant cats among us. And if people have to suffer for the dreams of those cats to, to happen, then that's just an acceptable price. My granny. I feel like that guy shot his laser at where I was going to be instead of where I was. It's a common thing, of course. Oh, what is that? That's invisibility. It's a common thing for people, for the common people, to defend the rich billionaires, the people who control society, saying, well, those are the people who actually make things happen. You know, they're, they're the brilliant ones. They could... They're entitled to do what they want with the rest of us. And some people say, well, why is why do people think that way? Is it just because they th those people think that they deserve to be those billionaires th themselves? And that maybe someday they'll make it? They don't want any of those pesky regulations getting in the way of what they would do with their money? I think deep down, most of those people know that they'll never that's never going to happen for them. I feel that the reason people tend to subscribe to the great cat theory is because they just feel their own inadequacy. And they feel like the world can't be changed by people like them. It has to be changed by our betters. Isn't that just a natural way of things? Oh boy, him loves to kill. Feeling like, after all, I never made it myself. Who are these other people who think that they deserve to make it? So people like that might look at Bubsy and say, yes, Bubsy is in the right. I agree with the actions of Bubsy Bobcat in, in how he treats the Woolies. Mm. Doesn't seem like there's anywhere to go from here. There was a switch up on a platform. I need to go get that switch. I got shot immediately after respawning. Dirty tactics, but then again, the Woolies know that death is nothing to one such as Bubsy. You need to do whatever... When you're facing a being like Bubsy, you need to do whatever you can, however you can. Don't feel guilty about it. Bubsy would do it to you. He do it to you in a second. Platform. But the question is, what platform? What started moving? Is it, I mean, is it the one after the switch? Thank you. 
Almost. <laughs> almost. When thinking about Bubsy, you do have to consider the time and the place where it came out. You do have to consider that the 3D platformer wasn't a thing at the time. And that the makers of this game were trailblazers, really. Doing what ha- I, can't, I guess I can't really stand on that. Yeah, how- That guy's really good at shooting me. I was jumping around, and he, he shot where I was going to go. Let me see something. So you, pressing the L1, we can turn Bubsy around. We can turn the camera around Bubsy. We can, like, look up and down like this. You can see, you can get a good look at Bubsy's business. Look, he puts it on display. He wants you to look. I don't know if looking around like that is going to help us at the moment. So, me, the big, yep, big problem I'm having is the new enemy of this level, that guy that sh shoots like the laser. All the enemies have a projectile, but that laser guy is getting me a lot. Considering the, the slowness of things, it's kind of hard to move the camera around when you're being shot from the side. So, a question came up during the break. Why doesn't Bubsy use his claws? He is a bobcat. Fierce with claws and fangs. He does not use his natural gifts. He does not rip and tear as he could. I wonder if is Bubsy just not aware of these gifts? Considering he has his unnatural gifts like immortality. Maybe it's never occurred to him to do that. Bubsy has never given in to his feral needs. And so that went to the rocket piece. We're not we haven't actually been looking for the rocket pieces. And it was there. Something I'm still not sure about. This. How is this supposed to be useful? Is... Th That's... It's such a useless side hop. Like, is there something we can actually do with that? So the arrow set as a telescope. A 
That's the other rocket piece. What are these in front of us? I mean, they're gonna kill us, obviously. That's, like, obviously the answer. Let's go that way. Well, we're looking around here for right now. At least we got a checkpoint. Oh, now that one's pretty fast. That one was not hard to get. Anyway, we actually got both uh, both rocket pieces, but we do have to find the exit, which you know is not necessarily going to be the easiest thing. But the arrows will show us. All right, we're invisible. Checkpoint. All right, get up on. Nope. Get up on this. Ta. I feel like that was just on the edge. did see this, the moving platform. Was I able to get... Okay, I wasn't able to get on that before, but I got on it now. Whoops, but I fell off. Okay. I feel like I have to move around when I'm on, the, on that platform because there are enemies that will be shooting at me. I assume there was a joke of some sort there. Do you think the reason that Bubsy cracks so many unfunny jokes is because any if someone tells him that he's not funny, he could just kill them? I feel like there's something to that. Like, we see how Bubsy interacts with people. Here. Like, maybe one of these aliens could tell him that he's just not funny. But he can just stomp them and murder them. Alright, so there's like an enemy up there, and he's gonna be shooting. Maybe I- maybe I can just stand on the platform and not worry about it. But we're gonna find out. Okay, it turns out that's- that worked. And, okay. 
There we go. Oh, he didn't melt or anything. I do enjoy that I get hit upon respawning there. It's very good. All right, so the, the pink-purple platforms, if you hadn't noticed, uh, collapse after a few seconds after standing on them. Hop along, Cassidy. And what happened... was there was an enemy on the other platform that shot me as I jumped onto that platform. So I got stunned long enough for the platform to fall. I'm hoping the platform is there again when we get back. I guess there's no guarantee of that. Okay, that, pl that platform has different moving speeds. It speeds up when it's further away. We can just take our time. We can just take our time and wait. Okay, the platform is is back. It is still there. Whoop. Whoop, what? Mm, Alright, well, let's, let's do it again. Let's do it again. Overshot it a little bit. At least the enemies that were here stay gone. He can hit me from there. Oh, no, no. There, okay. Completely deliberate. Completely on purpose. There's the exit. Um, we got a bunch of falling platforms. I don't think anything can hit me from here, so. Alright, looking down. There we go. Okay, that one will that one's not a falling platform. Nope, I keep I keep grabbing that. I mean, he will automatically grab it if I am close enough, which is good usually. All right, well, you see what we got to do. And we're out. Been making artificial cows in the factory. Are they going to try to milk Bubsy? Is that the next level? Bubsy gets milked? I didn't realize this game was heading in such a direction. And if that's not what's going to happen, then hey, fan artists, you know what you need to do. We got both parts. 
of the rock at this time. You're going to save a game. As we have now reached the second row. Seriously, what is this music? What is the what is the mood the music is supposed to make me feel? What is the expectation here? What's uh, like am I supposed to feel pumped and psyched to play Bubsy? I d Look, I was like the target age in the 90s. And I don't know what I don't know what this is, what sort of audience this is supposed to be going for. Like, I feel like, I, like I said, I feel like there's a sense of self-referential self-hatred here going on. It's, but it could, is that deliberate? I don't know. Is like the feeling you're supposed to be getting is that Bubsy is is not, is not is just not cool or he is just kind of he just feels pathetic do they want you to feel that way if it is it's kind of subtle i feel like if it was deliberate they would be more obvious about it <clears throat> das bobcat Okay, so we got a submarine maybe in this level. I hate that sound. That sound that's in every music track in this game so far. What is that? It's like the music's fine without it. Oh, right, that's... The Torpedo button. Don't want to keep using that. It uses too much air. Remember what we need to do. Use the torpedo when necessary. And do not use it otherwise. He got me. Not that, not that. Yep. That's, I guess if I get to the edge of the level, is that, I guess that's what that is. Putting me back in the proper place. I think my fur got mud. Here's invincibility. The arrow says to go this way.
Oh, it's right here. Well, we didn't get any rocket pieces. But the exit was pretty close. Watch out, Bubsy. You're gonna get eaten. So one thing to mention, the box says, run, jump, swim, and fly anywhere in huge 3D worlds full of zany humor and the Bubsy tood. I would like to argue <clears throat> that Bubsy displays any kind of tood. Like, whatever this is that Bubsy's got going on, this is not tood. I don't know what you'd want to call it. But it's not that. Domicidal maniac. What is the what is the name? How does the name the wordplay work here in the name? Okay, it could work one or two ways. One, we're in a domicile. I wouldn't say this looks like that. This looks like a factory or something. Or like the other option is that there is like a there's maybe a dominatrix somewhere. Which would be fun, but I'm not expecting it. Mm, electricity. I don't think we can walk past that. Wonder if there is a way to turn it off. Just saying words. I'm just saying words, Bubsy. Like, the joke might have made more sense if you were, like, hunting them with, like, a gun. These aren't jokes. These are, like, the sort of... These are sort of the jokes that you would see people with a blue check mark posting on Twitter. They don't understand why they're getting- they're not getting the engagement they expect on, on their tweets. I'm being saddle banned for my beliefs! That's really more Sylvester. He'd probably think that too, though.
Let's take a look down there. What we got? There's a fan, but it's off. Can we turn it on? Hop along, Cassidy! Whoop. Those are con conveyors. Oh, is that a new enemy? It's a clam. Does it just run around in a circle? I mean, I guess if it's predictable, then it doesn't matter. Hmm. The arrow says go that way. Maybe I don't need to do those platforms. Maybe we can just head in this direction and we'll get there. Propeller. All right. Oh, yeah, 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 the propeller. That's right. There was one that was turned off. We just turned it on. Let's just get back up here, which I guess would let me try to go to those other platforms. Is there a reason to do that, though? Like it just, it looks like it just leads to... Okay, no, there's more up here. Perception completely wrong on that one. There's a lot of platforms here, too. I was actually surprising, surprised that it was going as well as it was. Whoop. Con yep, considering that some of them are moving and some of them are conveyors. <clears throat> I don't know if I have to go this way. It just, it's here, you know? Oh, actually, there was a checkpoint in the middle of the platforms. So I'm actually... By dying, I'm actually further ahead than I was. I fell on this. Can I do anything on this? Yeah, okay, I can get back up. Thank <laughs> you. 
Okay, so I I'm having I had trouble perceiving the distance here. Okay, there we go. Fell off the edge of that. Back we go. An X-Man. Well, at least that'll put me at the checkpoint. It doesn't look like he dies in that animation. He just looks he's an, like he's annoyed because he's slimed. He could just clean himself up. Okay. Checkpoint was here. All right. Now, and we got over the wall. Wonderful. 69. Colored platforms. Don't know what those are for, but here's invisibility. You know, the way Bubsy moves, how slow... Oh, do I have to run on those. Okay. Those are actually platforms we're using. There are enemies up here. I did not like that. I did not like that balance beam action at the end there. I mean, I enjoy bu watching Bubsy be tortured to death. I'm all I'm all right with that. Bubsy was transformed into a woolly. His very identity robbed from him to be part of the collective. I feel I feel Bubsy deserves anything he gets. I see he looks like he's going to be eaten by a dogfish in this next level. I mean, I'm not happy about it being a swimming level. But, I mean, if that's what we have to do, then that's what we have to do. I feel like these little videos we're seeing at the end of each level are maybe not canonical. Because Bubsy is a cat again. And Matt, he's, he's in the water. Why is he in the water again after the factory? I feel like maybe 
just maybe the progression of Bubsy 3D from level to level is not really the, the most consistent thing. As odd as that may seem to say. I know you're used to thinking of Bubsy being rock solid in terms of continuity, but I'm not, I don't know about that. Yeah? Past this wall? He's not going to let me go over the wall. You just can't go over it like that. Can we go this way? Can't seem to get this. Just like mom used to make. What? Was it food? All right, I can't. Okay, that fan's pushing me away. I can't get to these these things. These switches. All right. Okay, the manual did say that power up lets you shoot these. I think I have ten of them. Just can't hit this one. Can hits me. It hits me though. It certainly hits me. Another option is we could just ignore that part of the level entirely and, you know, go somewhere else. Oh, there's a rocket piece just sitting out here. Talk about fresh sushi. That wasn't hidden at all. Exit's right there. Very short level. I guess the, uh, the other rocket piece must have been past those fans. <clears throat> Don't open it, Bubsy. Don't open it. Don't do it. You got you see you got tricked, Bubsy. You got tricked. It was there was never gonna be a treasure in there. It was never in the cards. <clears throat> the tables were turned on the Bubster. There's there's a piece. There's a rocket piece. <clears throat> What's happening in that thumbnail? Looks like Bubsy is being abducted by aliens. I mean, he already was. That's the premise of the game. The Woolies took Bubsy to their planet because they were mad that he foiled their plans in the previous games. He's already been abducted.
But then again, maybe the only way off of the Woolies planet is to be abducted by other aliens. <clears throat> Dome home. So, something I started to say a couple levels ago is that I realized that... Oh, that's a new enemy. The way Bubsy moves reminds me of something. Can I jump on him? Like a snake. No, I don't think I can. He doesn't, he doesn't seem jumpable. They're pretty fast, too. Maybe the way to kill them would be to use the atoms. Whoops. But aiming with the atoms is not fun, either. I don't see one around. I was saying that Bubsy's movement reminds me of something. Some years back, this is a long time ago at this point, let me see if I can hang on. Nope. They're very low on the ground and hard to see. And there's one over there. Okay, there we go. That one got hit. So you can do that. Some years ago, this was over a decade ago at this point, I got an ear infection that caused me to have vertigo. What did they call it? I believe like the official term was something like labyrinthitis, something like that, uh, which basically eliminated my sense of balance, uh, which made moving around an ordeal. It was something that required a lot of concentration and it was very slow, very deliberate, very focused. And that's what this reminds me of. Just like the way Bubsy's movements on the D-pad feels like molasses. It feels like I'm struggling to move him around. How turning is so hard. How I'm, when I'm walking forward and I try to turn to the left or right, he just doesn't. And just keeps moving forward like he's not aware of it. Like a lot of this feels like how it felt when I tried to walk around. I mean, I didn't have to do any platforming, you know? I didn't have to jump on platforms. I don't think I would have been able to do that. Smoking. Please don't do that. Saying smoking was was played out before this game ever came out, Bubsy. Come on. But I guess oh. I guess that is on brand for Bubsy. When is Bubsy gonna say, Somebody stop me? He hasn't said that yet. Or perhaps sing, perhaps Bubsy will sing a verse from Cuban Pete. Honestly, I don't, I don't want Bubsy to have a dance number. I usually like that in games. I don't feel like Bubsy deserves it. Thank you. 
Oh. I thought it was a little bit further than that. Propeller. Oh, that's a teleporter. Okay, it just teleported me right next to it. Never mind. So, if Bubsy had come out a few years later, I... Do you think you would be hearing him say lines like, I know Kung Fu! Or, I see dead people! I think we would. I think we would. No, no, mm. Who needs pixie dust? I get it, yes, it's a reference. It's a Peter Pan reference. So when listening to this music, do you think that the composer had, like, an argument with the director of the game about the music? Like, maybe originally the composer came up with something that was better than this, but then the director said, no, it, just, it doesn't feel whimsical enough. It needs to be more whimsical. And then, like, every time the composer brought something back, the director said, no, no more whimsical, more cartoonish. And then eventually, this is what comes up. And it's like, okay, this this is it. This, this is this is the soundtrack for Bubsy. <laughs> well, oh, that's a teleporter there. It's not the exit. I don't think I can make that. I have to take these. Oop, but I fell. Some of these levels do have the format of... Right, those guys. Some of these levels do have the format of... There is a lengthy series of platforms to do. And then if you, if you, if you fail, if you don't do it, then you'll fall onto the floor find the fan to go back up. Actually, this platform's go this platform comes to the floor and then do it again. It's happened it's come up more than once. I feel like it's not a very good level format, but you know, it is what it is. Bubsy will do what Bubsy will do. It's Bubsy's world. We just live in it. I think it came down here. Maybe it wasn't. There was one that came down. Maybe it wasn't this one. Here, though. Maybe, oh, maybe over here. 
Yep, that's the one. hard for me to see that jump. Okay, no enemies there. There's a checkpoint. We're supposed to go that way. But I probably do want to get to the checkpoint. Another checkpoint right here. Never mind. New area. There's invincibility over there. I need that. Arrows pointing that way. Do I need to climb these? Pushing forward as I fell. So, of course, Bubsy ran into the, into the slime. As is the way. As is the way of Bubsy. His forward momentum will not be stopped. So I wonder if the, in the end, will the big plot twist be that Bubsy was actually trapped in Lex Luthor's VR world? I could imagine it. Turns out that no, none of this was real, Bubsy. None of it was real. This does seem like a dastardly virtual world made to torment someone. By the way, remember that I mentioned I had vertigo earlier? I remember when I got prescribed with it, they gave me like a document giving me information about it. And something that I remember that stood out to me was that apparently the amount of time it can last varies greatly. Uh, I believe they said, how long would it last? Like minimum of one week, maybe up to six months. And I was like, wait, what? Is that, ac was that, that accurate? Six months? This can't last for six months. It didn't. It was like a week. But like the idea that it was a, a possibly a realistic prognosis, that that condition could last for six months was terrifying. Sometimes that happens. Sometimes that happens where I will jump on the enemy and die anyway. I can only assume it must be that he's firing the laser 
at the same time that I hit him and I get hit by the laser. wonder if perhaps there was an maybe there was another way that they could handle damage in Bubsy aside from Bubsy just losing any momentum and stopping dead while we're on top of moving platforms maybe there was a another way that could be handled I don't know I mean, for a game about platforming, this game sh seems to sure hate movement. Mm-hmm. Ah. Again. Okay, well, he didn't fall in slime anyway. Propeller. There's a better way I could be handling the laser guys. I feel like I'm co getting constantly slammed by their lasers. Shoot me. I guess he can't shoot me from there. Which one? Okay, it was this one where the platform comes down. I love how that that sound of rubber pulling has now been integrated into the soundtrack. Can I do anything from No, I can't do anything from here.
I think I had to go this way. platform get close to me. Doesn't seem like it. I got clammed. I got clammed. Bubsy continues to smile. His rictus grin. In the face of adversity. But is he smiling in the face of adversity, or is he smiling at you? Keep running into those guys. Bubsy smiling because he knows what you're dealing with. He finds humor in that. He finds hilarity. Headshot. He met a woolly marksman. Sting like a bee. Muhammad Ali, of course, famous for his stomps. And no one really talks about that too much. They talk about his fast footwork and his rope-a-dope maneuver. Never, people don't really talk about when he would jump above his opponent's head and then give him a double stomp on the head. It was a big crowd pleaser. I mean, technically it was illegal. We all remember when he did it to George Foreman. George Foreman said... Hey, ref, that's an illegal move. You can't do that. And the ref said, yeah, but it was cool. Everyone loved it. Sorry. So it, ha it, it stays. That's too far. It's just a corner with nothing in it. I'm jumping like that because I'm trying to avoid the goo snakes. I did not avoid that one. I 
I guess I should have expected that. Yes! Ah, one stop shopping! Yeah, let's just go back down to the bottom. Seems like I tend to get stopped around here. We had to go this way. Well, without falling, and yeah, without the falling part, would be good. Again, my perception of that platform is doesn't seem right. There we go. to go. Like, it was around in, in this this area that I haven't gotten past yet. What? A figure. what? Doesn't even make sense, Bubsy. That's a, oh. That does that, huh? Teleporter sends you back here. I mean, I did get a checkpoint on the other side of it. Alright, we gotta find out. Where is it do I need... Where is it that I need to go from here? Because that's not that's what I have not done yet. There is an arrow somewhere pointing at a series of trees. There's the arrow. Okay. Get up here. Okay, so there's something that stops me up here. There's that guy over there. We have a series of, of platforms. Some of them will, will fall. Some of them will collapse. 
Okay, yeah, that's a moving platform. So we have to time it so that we start on the... We start on the... The collapsing platforms. Don't step on the tiled floor. We have to look at the moving platform and then time it. So that when we start jumping on the on the dropping platforms. That, whoop, that, that it'll it'll whoop. Also, there's a clam. The clam tends to get me, because the clam is not a pattern that I'm that I'm thinking about. It just kind of runs in a circle. Let's see. Maybe now. Yeah, that was good. Conveyor. No, no. Whoop, whoop. Conveyor going the opposite way. Now, gotta start running. One more on here. There we go. Check point right there. Fall on that. I don't I'm not sure where we're going. I guess that over here. Oh, there's the exit. It's right there. Can we get past this guy? Oh, wait. Okay, so there... There's platforms on the floor here. So we can start from right here. Monsters are us. Right, that's, that's where we're going. We get there from here. to be facing the way I want to jump when I'm on the conveyor, because turning is incredibly... Well, you've seen it. You know how slow turning is.
All right, going for it again. Nope, running. Got it. it, it, it. Okay. And it suddenly got a lot rougher, this game. Don't press that button, Bubsy! Oh, you pressed it! Bubsy, what have you done? Put us in a new environment, I hope. I wouldn't mind not to have to do the factory-style level again, but I mean, I guess that's probably too much to hope for. Hey, Bubsy's been captured. Is he gonna be executed? We can only hope! Well, I think the next level on this list looked like it was a boss fight. So maybe he's being carted off to the boss. Yeah, I didn't I didn't get any rocket pieces. I didn't see any rocket pieces in that level. I don't want to think about what you have to do in that level to get rocket pieces. It was rough enough just to get to the exit. Okay, that's like a, a woolly mammoth. Is the next boss? Well, hold on. Let's consult the manual and see what it has to say about the mammoth. There's an enemies section, of course, which we read about the nerd. Let's see. Sh 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 woolly mammoth. Look at him. Doesn't he have the cutest puppy dog eyes? And isn't it cute when he bellows and starts charging towards you and swinging his tail around too? Yikes! Maybe he's not so cute. And with that thick hide and those tusks, you won't be able to hurt him with a bop! Okay. I cannot bop him. Whatever it is we need to do, bopping is not an option. So we're gonna have to take a look at this, uh, this, the environment. Mortal Bobcat. Very good, yes. Am I going to test my bite? Alright. I used two trunks. Alright. Okay, so I, the, the ring ropes hurt us. Can we get him to charge into the ropes? Okay, we, like, he, like, turns upside down. Can I, like, stomp him in the nuts when he does that? I mean, it says I can't bop him. But maybe... Nope. I don't think I can, like, get him... get over him. I think I jump high enough for that. <laughs> Bubby just died from a heart attack. That, didn't have, that had nothing to do with the mammoth. Bubsy's diet was just... had way too high clu uh, cholesterol. Alright, what do you, what do you want to do? Yeah, I got bounced when I tried to bomb... when I tried to jump on him. Okay, if I stand there, that does hurt me. Which is not not a surprise. It seems like trying to jump on him hurts me, even when he's face down, ass up. That's the way he likes to kill Bubsy. Do I have to get him into the ropes? I don't see how. I don't think I could get him to go into the ropes. You know, I know it's not intentional, but Bubsy saying who booked this uh, works quite well, actually, as a reference, since we're in a wrestling match. Since booking is a phrase in that. 
referring to making the matches and determining the winners. I know that wasn't the deliberate reference being made, but it, you know, coincidentally, coincidentally, it works for this for this level. All right. We of course have our glide. Hey, wait, what's that? It's a banana. Did someone throw a banana in the ring? You wanna you wanna walk over it? I don't know where this banana came from. Okay, yeah, he was slipping on it. He was gonna go into the ropes. So how is it just a matter of time before someone throws the banana? Or is there something I can do to make the banana get thrown? I mean we can see the bananas in this screen here. So, the banana is the key. Alright, everyone. Is there anything you want Bubsy to do to... Alright, someone... They, they booed me. Okay, there's the banana. So... I can do... What can I do to make them boo? Throw it in. Okay, that's it, I think. I think I can bounce off of the mammoth as it tries to attack. What? Wow. And then that makes them throw the banana? Okay. Nope. I think I went into the ropes. Yeah, okay, I can bounce off of him when he's ass up. Someone will throw a banana in the ring. Just, just walk over it. Just walk over the banana. Ah. You hit me instead. If, I, if, he's too, if he's too close, he just goes ass up, and then he doesn't walk into the banana. So, basically what I have to- what has to happen is the banana has to get thrown in, like, around in the center. I'm not doing it right now. Like that. Throw the banana. Banana's in. Okay, I think he's hit, I think he hit the ropes. Yeah. Now, does that hurt him or do I need to do I need to hit him when he's in the ropes? I'm not in when it's happened, I'm I've not been in a position to do it. Banana. Because it, it takes so long to rotate the camera. And I'm dead. I feel like if you could rotate the camera faster, that would actually fix a fair amount of the problems I'm having. This is going poorly. Yeah, okay. I mean, I think I know what to do. It's just hard to do it. So, you get... He has to be close enough to, to get him to roll over. Once he's roll, I have to back off when he does that. Then when he's, when he's fully over, I then jump on his nuts 
and then the crowd hates that and throw a bana- someone throws a banana in the ring. Then I have to get the banana between him and me, so he'll run onto the banana. It, it can't be too close to me, though. Otherwise, he'll roll over instead of running on the banana. If I want him to be in the center of the ring, that's good. Now... Okay, here he comes. Nope. He, ran, he went into me. Oh, the banana's still here, though. Banana is still in the ring. All right, I need to get out of the way fast enough. Nope. I'm not doing a bad job of getting out of the way fast enough. And now he went into the ropes. Now, I can, I'm hoping that means that he took damage when he did that. I'm hoping that. I don't know that. As, as during the first boss fight, I feel like there's not much of a feeling when the enemy gets hurt. Like, I just have to take it for granted. I have to take it on faith that damage is being done. Nope, I went into the ropes. I went into the ropes. Have to jump on it. Jump on it correctly. Don't jump into its side. Got to get above it, then come down. Gliding works better for it. Okay. Nope. He rolled onto it. He didn't step over it. Okay, now he's going. Now he's going. Now he's going. Like I said, I can only assume when he goes into the ropes that that means damage has been done. Step on it to the ropes. Okay, we're still going. I don't think he hit the ropes. I think I went into him before that happened. Do you think Bubsy's mother is proud of him? I guess I went into the ropes. I guess I did. Alright. The only thing... Like, it's hard to do. But... The only thing now is... Is when he goes into the ropes, is that when damage is done? Because that seems like what we're doing here. Or is there something else I need to do? Oh, there's, there's the banana. Uh, 
هنا Slipping. All right. Oh. Are those ropes destroyed? I think my bird got mushed. No, it's coming. Or is it blinking? Or what's happening there? All right. Well, whatever's happening there. Let's just try to. Get him to go into this again, this side again. Or even if we can't get him to go into that side, just keep doing this, and eventually I'll have to be going into some side more than more than twice. There's only just so many, so many sides. comes. Alright, come on. Nope. He went for the attack. Whoop, oh, here he comes. He went out. Oh, he's going to be dissolved alive. What a painful death. Slowly eaten away by acid. Did he deserve that? Well, I guess it doesn't matter. It was Mortal Kombat. We, he knew what he was getting into. Look, Bubsy's a prisoner, but the mammoth volunteered for this. How many how many people has that have that mammoth killed? Think about that before you feel bad for the mammoth. Well, okay, so as badly as that played, at least there was some sort of logical progression to that boss fight. Of you know you you f you try the, what limited actions you have until someone throws a banana peel in the ring, and then eventually he runs on the banana peel and goes into the ropes, and then the ropes get damaged, and then eventually he goes into the. Uh, there's like a logical progression, and I feel like that's much more the case than the first boss fight, which I feel the first boss fight you're supposed to. Again, I'm going to be complaining about this, that those splotches on the ground were supposed to be heat, and that if you f hover over them, if you glide, then that's hot air that's going to raise you up. Nah, nah, no. The mammoth boss fight, as bad as it was to play, makes some kind of sense. Uh, I think we're going to take a break. As we defeated the second boss. What do we have here? Okay, on that next thumbnail, it looks like Bubsy is running towards that electricity guy. Uh, then after that, we're done with the second row. And then we enter the third and final row. <clears throat> and, uh... We're continuing on. What could possibly go wrong? Nothing. Nothing could possibly go wrong. Welcome back, you Bubsy fanatics. Everyone here is horned for Bubsy. We can't get enough. We need to see more. We need to see more adventures in 3D. And that is why we're continuing on. In... Zazat's nice? Like, I, I don't know. I have some different music. All 
right. Feel like a million. Got him. Oh, that was water. That was water. Alright, I guess I only had one life left. Might as well start over. That's fine. So is the title just supposed to be like, that's nice, but zzzots, because that sounds like electricity? I feel like they're not trying too hard there. What? That hurts? We have some aerial enemies now. Am I jumping on that? I guess so. I guess we could continue going this way. What is this way? Speared. Speared by the bird. But we did get the checkpoint here. There's some invisibility. <laughs> like if a if a single fur piece of fur gets wet it's death instant death for bubsy except when he's in a water level then he's okay
I love the ones where I stomp them, but also get hurt at the same time. I enjoy it very much. It wants me to go that way. There's also a path going this way. I guess we should see what's here. get me? I didn't see what it was. Um, right. We're at the bottom of the platforms here. Got hit twice there. I wasn't sure what got me. Maybe it was a bird. Like there's a bird swooping below this platform. Maybe it was one of those. I hear the exit. It's making its woom wooming sound. I don't see it around. I did hear it. Oh, there it is. It's right there. How about we just go the way the arrow is pointing? It's fine. Um, well, I guess I'm just going to jump on this large area here. Yep, that's fine. Yep. You know, there are certain elements of Bubsy that I think could have been easily fixed. Like, maybe when you get hit, don't rotate the camera around to look at Bubsy in the face. So I can't actually see what's in, in front of me. Maybe don't do that. Where are we going from here? Was Bubsy acknowledging that he is being controlled by someone outside of his world? We've already, we already established that Bubsy is able to face some, some heavy existential questions with a big smile. Oh, we can do get on these. I assume I can kill the birds by jumping on them. But I'm not what timing on that I don't know. That's, that arrow is where we got on these things. Maybe. 
down this way. There's invincibility over there. This is where we're trying to get to. So I never played the 2D Bubsies, but it certainly seems like the level design from what I've seen is quite different from this, where those seem those levels seem to be quite fast moving, side scrolling, just uh, you know hurrying on from left to right, as opposed to the philo design philosophy of these levels, which uh, uh, there's quite a few of them that has to do with platforming over a lower area and then if you fall off the one of the platforms onto the lower area you have to find the you have to start from the beginning again they do that multiple times here I'm not, I'm not sure why that that might have been an attractive design idea. I mean, I know that this was an early 3D platformer, and they were kind of working things out about how a 3D platformer was supposed to work at the time. But, uh... A little puzzled as to why they would have wanted so many areas to... to be like that. Hi, Columba! I mean, I goes without saying it's not fun, but then you know the game in general isn't, and that just brings me to the back back to the point of just like the way the game looks, the way it sounds, how Bubsy is constantly joking but is not funny. Does the game just not want you to enjoy it? Is the idea that you should not be liking the experience here? Is that the deliberate idea? Well, there have been worse. There have been worse. Worse levels. But why don't- why- no one's attacking him there? Seems like they're getting along fine. can't believe that he would like I don't know that I don't really have anything to say about that visual gag that's right I did get a rocket part in that save a game or is the vibe is the vibe you're supposed to get from Bubsy like he's supposed to be a failed like Looney Tunes character like, he wanted to be one, but he wasn't allowed. He just wasn't funny. He kept trying to audition, and they kept turning him down. Days of Thunder. Alright, is this a racing level? I can't wait to see how this feels. All right, we're going. 
Okay, the tr left and right doesn't control the car. I mean, it, you, as usual, controls the camera. Let's see. There's something I should be... Okay, I can jump out of the car. I can do that. I can duck in the car. L and R's don't do anything. Wants me to go that way? Can I take the car that way? I mean, I guess I have to. All right, hold on. I'm just gonna I'm gonna look in the manual for a second instead of guessing at this. Let's see. What does it say about car? Looking at directions. Is there anything here that specifies the car? Okay, late in the game, there's a few levels where Bubsy feels the need for speed. Hop a passing rocket car takeoff. When he's in a car, he can't steer it, but another car comes near, he can hop out of his and catch a ride. Okay, he cannot steer the car. That is what I was experiencing, but it confirms it in the manual. He cannot steer. He can jump off onto other moving cars. Hmm. I did not see any other moving cars. Is there anything in the tip section that might help? Oh, actually, it does mention the woolly mammoth in the tip section. It says, bop the woolly mammoth when he flips over. This will cause the crowd of woolly spectators to boo and throw banana peels, make the woolly mammoth slide on the peels. Okay, it, it tells you how to do that as well. In the, in the tips. Anything in the tip? Okay, when you're riding in cars, keep an eye peeled for stop signs. When a car hits one, it blows up real good. Jump out before then. All right. Let's keep that in mind. Okay. What could I jump onto from the car? I could jump onto that. Oh, there we go. Another car up here. Here? All right. Oh, here we go. Oh, that's a stop sign. That's that's what that was. Better to better to see that now and get a game over. Then later. Okay, got to jump out as soon as I can. Getting a lot of different sounds happening in the music now. Is that... We got sort of like an electricity sound. Was that... Is that because of the car? cool in the game where a vehicle gets introduced. Everyone likes it. It's a crowd pleaser. So why don't I feel pleased? Oh, that's a, that's one of those. Okay, let's get off that. Can't jump on that. Oh, a telescope. What does it have to show me? Rocket pieces over there. Alright, so if I were to look over there... There's like a, a moving uh, bullseye? Trying to get to me? 
And I guess if it gets to me, then something, like, hits me? when the new Bubsy came out, it was mentioned about how that game has a verbosity slider. So if, you, if you wanted Bubsy to talk more or less, you could you could do that. That was an option. And obviously I feel like that this game needs that, but we need to turn it all the way up. We need verbosity at max. Bubsy talking all the time. Just constant. Just constant Bubsy. I want to hear all of his references. Every single one. And I want them all the time. I want to hear the depths of Bubsy's pop culture references. I want to know the, the, the breadth of the time periods that those references are for. Like, early 90s, sure, we know that. Surely. Surely we can get some others in there. Okay, where am I jumping? I have to jump off there. Where? It doesn't seem like anything is in reach. We get some Star Wars references. Okay. Okay, no, here. It's there. Okay. Nope, die. Maybe we could get a little older. Maybe we could get, like, a Welcome Back Cotter reference. See, Bubsy may surprise you with something like that. Where am I even going? This one? Nope. Uh, nope. Missed. This, fe this feels... This feels very confusing. I can imagine Bubsy letting loose with some sanitized Pulp Fiction references. But yeah, the duck button does work when you're in the car, so you could use that, yeah. Okay, I'm up here. You're not so tough. 
go this way. There's one right next to me. Nope. Well, that arrow says was pointing down. Should I have gone down here? How much is this a is this the same platform I was on? This is a very wide space. Okay, no, this is where we were. Let's point this way. Okay, back up here. Let's go that way. Uh, there is a one up that way. Right, well, that'll take us close to an enemy. Let's see how it goes. So, like I said, I'm having difficulty parsing this level. I guess we're advancing. The arrows say to go this way. It wants me to go in that. Okay, when I go in that, it's gonna pass that other car is going to be to the right and, like, a little bit behind us. I don't know if I need to jump into that car. Or if I do, when do I jump out? Like, there's going to be a point where I have to leave, but I don't know what. Is it there? Is it, like, okay. Okay, he's pointing down, jump into the car beneath me. But I grab onto the ledge if I try to jump off. There we go. Oh, no. Jumped out of it. Jumped out of it. it. That's that's where we need to go. That's where we need to go. That one's kind of tough because if I try to lower myself down, he grabs onto the ledge and pulls himself back up. So I have to kind of jump out and then go back in. Do all the Bubsies sound like this game? Like, do any of them sound halfway pleasant? Or like, sound like a- sound like a video game you'd want to play? Okay, 
things. So I have to get off at that platform to the right. This platform. Then drop down. Onto that. Where are we going? Probably jump onto that. Well, we just passed one. I don't know if I needed to jump on that. Guess we'll see where this goes. Okay, it's letting giving me another chance. Okay, jumped on that. Checkpoint. Another car. Keep your arms and legs inside until this ride comes to a full and complete stop. I'm hearing the sound. Yeah, it's right there. All right, done. A weird level layout. Okay, this did not happen. Don't even try to imply that we had some sort of thrilling wipeout-ish race. That's just an insult to say that that happened in this level. Nothing like that happened. I mean, I'm happy to see Bubsy die horribly. But this did not happen in the level. I'm gonna save a game. Wow, it's not even midnight yet. This next level uh, is black and white, according to that thumbnail. Very ominous looking thumbnail. What's the theme for this level going to be? The Woollyville Horror. I like horror. Is this a horror level? This just looks like every other level. Unless they mean the continued horror of playing Bubsy. water. That's a fan. I need to turn it. There we go. Uh, 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 propeller. Supposed to go that way, but what's anything over here? Oh, checkpoint. Well, I missed it. There we go.
Nope. I missed that. And snake, the rubber snake, it always gets me. It always gets me. that down there. It's like a big spider. I guess that's where we're going. And there's a switch over there. Cage. Alright, we turned on cage? I guess. It's just kind of walking in a circle. Is it a platform? It kind of looks like a platform. I guess we could try it. Okay, there we go. Visibility. Another one of those, but how do we get its cage down? where we got on. Yep. Should not have approached the water that quickly. Should not have approached it that quickly. A switch for this. Can I jump on it? No, it just kind of moves me. Oh, okay, never mind. I don't actually need. I can just jump on the platform anyway. Never mind.
<laughs> now, considering how many references Bubsy likes to throw out, I'm kind of surprised that his levels aren't just based on movies. I mean, this is called the Woollyville Horror, but it has nothing to do with the Amityville Horror or any kind of horror movie. It's like, it's... It, there, it doesn't have a theme. Like, none of the levels really have a theme. Why is it called the Woollyville Horror? I'm not sure what got me that time. Cage. I think it's over there. Nope. Jump on the platform. Nope, don't do that. There we go. I hate those snakes. I hate those snakes. I hate when, I, when you hear the rubber sound, because it means snakes are coming. to get away from the snakes, I kind of have to just jump blindly to the side to, to have enough speed to get away, but that will open me up to not knowing what enemies I'm heading towards. That's a weird enemy, too. It's like a, a moving bullseye, and if it hits you, I guess that bouncing thing then launches itself at you. Now, in the water, in the water. You see, talking about references, Bubsy dies a lot. So when he gets a game over, he should, and you have the option to continue, Bubsy should tell you, I want more life, fucker! Why don't we get, like, recognizable references like that? go.
Right. I was standing in front of him. I jumped, which put my hitbox into his, I guess. I should know not to do that by now. Go that way. Through the snake. Yeah, there it is. would be an interesting like student project for people for students of game design to try to fix Bubsy. Like try to make a the good version of Bubsy 3D. I think I might have mentioned that with Superman as well. I might have asked that question. says that way, then that way. Oh, right, over that wall. Right, right, right. Cage. Talking about references that Bubsy could make, like, I still think the way to go is to to make you know try to sanitize famous references for 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 the Bubster for humorous effect. Like maybe you could get like a whole bunch of of these atoms, right? And then at some point when you get a lot of them, he he would say something like, "Foist, you get the money." Then you get the power. Then you get the pussy. Cat that is. And then he winks at the screen. I don't know why they don't. I don't know. I don't know. I think these are these are clear ideas for Bubsy quotes. All right. Wow. He just gave up. He just gave up. He just said no. Sorry. I'm not even trying.
just make that jump without the cut? Yeah, we can. You know, one of the things that annoys me about the game, I mean, there's many things, obviously, many things. But one of the things I think that comes up the off, most often thing is that the, the, the fastest and most accurate way to move around is by constantly jumping. Like when you're jumping, you can, you're only looking down, you can't see what's around you, and you can't turn, you can't turn the camera. But that is, like, the actual... When you're in some sort of emergency, just jumping like that is the... the best way to actually move. Like when these snakes come by. Still got hit, though. I feel like I'm not handling the snakes well. Like, there's, there must be a better way of doing it. I'm not seeing it. They come at you so fast. They only have a limited area in which they can move. But when you're in their area... Now we're in this? Have we been here before? Going this way. Well, there's an invincibility. Wow, 
Well, there's a telescope. He's gonna... Yeah, that orange and black area. What's going on in there? There's a switch. What's the switch for? Who knows? Maybe it's for that propeller. Could be. Uh, it doesn't seem like there's anywhere else to go there. I guess I'm gonna have to go to the orange and black area. Go up the platforms, hit the switch, probably for that propeller. If I go that way, where am I even going? What's the objective here? I don't have much time to actually look at the map. I have to keep jumping. get back over there. Never mind. Uh, let's see. I'm losing track of which direction I need to go in. Here's that propeller. So we needed to go up here. Back to the orange and black area to go up to those platforms. Not in the water. Not in the water. Let's see. Where is that area? Yeah, this area. Gotta go back up the platforms again. I'm trying to think of the options that Bubsy has, like when he's being attacked whipped by dudes up here. Trying to get above them to jump on them doesn't always, it's not always a good position for it. There's always also the option of there's if there's an atom we could try to shoot, but it feels so bad. It feels so bad to actually try to aim that thing. Let's see. There's a good direct. Where should we be jumping? And it also takes a bit to accurately aim, and I don't have time because they're just going to shoot me while I'm doing that. I'm not really sure what options I have available to me to actually try to handle this. Like, that guy's going to start shooting me right now. So this one allows me to shoot multiple ones, but do I actually have the time to do it? Smart. 
Okay. Here's the switch. Propeller. All right, that did turn the propeller on. I saw the exit. It's over there. Well, it's teleporter. Is that the is the exit in there? It could just be a teleporter. Um. Nothing's hitting me right now. I think I can... Well, that's where the rocket piece is. I can see a rocket piece. But, uh... Can I get up there from here? Yeah, I can. Rocket pieces... Does this teleport me over there? No. It teleported me across the map. Over here. And back. Okay, this is where we started from. What? So it's not taking me to that one. To the one with the rocket. And what if I turn around here and go back in this one? Okay, which one to take? Take left. No. Okay, turn around. Go in this one. Try right this time. There we go. And Bubsy's dead. It doesn't even try to grab onto the ledge when it's over water. It doesn't even try. Alright, we got a rocket piece. We also turned on the propeller. The propeller is around here. Where is it? There it is. Alright, bring us up to what? Where are we going? Stupid stampede! Series of platforms. Above, we're above the switch now. Yeah, it seems like the only way to go. another spider down there. Or do I try to jump on that? I can jump on that. I don't know what that other spider down there. Maybe the other spider's for uh, a second rocket piece. The arrow says to go... Well, never mind. Find that propeller again. The propeller, of course, does hurt me if I touch it, if you are wondering.
Okay, so jump onto that conveyor. Then there's going to be two that's going the opposite way. Then there's a platform beneath it. Is that where the platforms stop? Do we, like, drop down into that area once we get there? Oh, that felt so bad. The platform here, does this go anywhere? There is a switch over there. I mean, I can't glide there. We've seen the glide. It has barely any horizontal distance. We, we can't get over there. Seems odd that there's a, like a little platform here going out to look at it. All right, there's a spot. I would assume the switch over there has to be to activate the spider. we anything else there's that the propeller to get back up and i died i enjoy starting right next to that guy please. Alright, now we're doing that again. Whoops. Okay, no, never mind. I thought I fell, but fortunately there was a platform underneath. Not sure what to do once we get to the end of this. Gonna have to reach the switch to activate the spider. I don't know how, though. Jump on that, and then jump on this, and keep jumping, keep jumping to the right. Don't fall in the gap. I assume I can fall in that gap. So, looking at the options here, we can go down there, there's a propeller that can send us back up here. Oh, there's a switch over there. Is that the switch I need to get? So there are two switches. What's the one over th out there, though? I don't know how you would get out there. So, to get that, did I, I don't, I can't jump that. Did I need to get that as I was doing these platforms? Okay, well, I'm that back down here. And I'm, nope, please don't fall back on that. Of course, I fell back on it. Happens every time. I actually don't. I did not want to go over that wall, but I did. Ah, uh, where was it? Oh, in the water. In the water we go. Game over. Bubsy, of course, hates water, as we know. It kills him instantly. Unless we're in a level where he's, where he's swimming through water. Then it's fine. 
I'm very disappointed that this level has nothing to do with horror. The name specifically says we're doing a horror level, and it ends up that's not what we're doing. I guess I'll be interested when this is over to look at a, like, a playthrough of someone who knows what they're doing with Bubsy to see how some of these enemies are supposed to be dealt with, like the snakes. Instead of a matter of curiosity. what we wanted to do. again. Nope, don't go in the water. When you realize that there's something in front of you and you want to stop, it is so hard to stop. Bubsy's forward momentum will not be denied. Is that a Star Trek reference? Did he just say he's dead, Jim? our spider friend. anything about Bubsy's taste in pop culture. It, what, what sort of entertainment does Bubsy like? What media is he into? I feel like Bubsy is something of a blank slate. Despite supposedly having so much personality. We don't really know Bubsy. We don't know his likes, we don't know his dislikes, we don't know his political opinions. I think that Bubsy would have some valuable things to say on the state of the world. Thank <laughs> you. 
Pardon? Not sure what happened there. Not sure what happened there. Imagine some, you know, some fun Bubsy merchandise. Like a t-shirt that says, don't blame me, I voted for Bubsy. They missed the boat on this kind of thing. Especially with his iconic... Red exclamation point on white background. It's very, it's recognizable. Everyone knows what it is immediately. It's hard to, it's hard to deliberately make something that recognizable and iconic. You have Mario's cap. Oh. And you have, you have Bub Bubsy's. Bubsy's exclamation point. If you owned a cat and someone got you a present and you opened it and it was like a cat shirt and it was white with a with a red explanation point on it. Would you feel insulted? Would you be mad at that? And then the friend expects you to put the shirt on the cat. Shot out of the air. I know I've mentioned it before, but it's still bizarre how a character as lame as Bubsy got this many games. I said it back at the beginning, but Bubsy was given off big, big, has-been, never-was vibes when he was a new character. He was never cool. He never felt cool. He felt like it was past his time when he, when he came out. How did this character get three games? Hey! 
Right, yes, that's correct. I remember now. The switch to turn on the propeller is in the orange and black area. It's a long level. I completely forgot about the orange and black area. Hard to tell sometimes where we're where we need to go, because it what we need might be far enough away in the distance that it's not drawing in yet. So like somewhere around here it is it well a death. Somewhere around there's a switch. This way. Which is over here. I got the propeller. Is anyone shooting at me right now? I don't think so. Propeller. We see it from here. So I think someone is shooting. I think it's this way. Try not to get hit. Nope. Just gonna get hit by it again. Okay, there we go. We did not get hit. That's too low. That's too low. Got hit. Knew it was gonna happen.
All right, there's a switch over there. Is that the one I need to get? Where do I go from this platform? Is there anywhere to go from this platform? I, I can jump up there. That's that's within reach. Right. Right below me. I have to do that thing where I jump back, then back. Nope. Oh, okay. Nope. It was a bit further back than I thought it was. This way. jump back up, can I? I think that's too high. Yeah, it's too high. Can I get to any other platform? Oh, never mind. Fortunately, that should remain open. That uh, switch, I mean. Not going far enough. Get over here. Okay.
right, I'm gonna approach from here. Back to here. The switch is act. Never mind. Look, Ma, low ground. Try that jump again. Now we have to do the con the conveyor jump. Just here. And then oh, never mind. Feels like a while ago that I first did that con conveyor jump. I'm not sure, actually, sure how long I've been on this level. Time is losing meaning. Nope, that's 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 not right. I don't know why I can't get that jump. It's not a hard jump. I just can't seem to do it. Alright. Over we go. Okay. So now, there's these. Now jump here, then do side jumps. Don't get shot off of the conveyors. Keep going, keep going. On there, okay. All right, spider is walking around. Spider is walking around. Let's try not to die by snake. The snake is here. Oh, I was on it. There we go. We're on spider. All right, where is spider taking us? It took so long. To get here. Oh, actually, that switch was right there. Should I have jumped off onto it? Maybe that would have been for a rocket piece. Let's just see where Spider's taking us. Bubsy, don't look at me expecting me to do something. Don't pause the game because I'm not doing anything, Bubsy. You know- oh, there we go. We made it. Level's over. Are we getting a, a repeat animation? All that? For this again? Not even getting, like, a horror-based animation. Couldn't even make unique ones. Well, I guess that one's different. It's It was the same thing, but he got launched instead of just being left behind. I don't think that's worthwhile. It should have been some horror-based thing. Level's done. That took, I'm going to have to go back and see how long that took. That felt like multiple levels to me. Like, I, that felt like two levels, but it was actually one. I'm going to save the game here. Phil... Bill Goldberg... 
fill Bill Goldberg's insides to bursting with bubs. Actually, you don't even know what that means if you're watching this after the fact. That, that makes no sense to you. My the memory I car uh, the memory card I have for the PlayStation One is a Bill Goldberg memory card. It's I bought it because it was funny, you, like decades ago in Toys R Us, where I saw like racks of PS One memory cards, and then like one of them was a Bill Goldberg card, and it's a memory card with a plastic Goldberg holding the WCW belt and yelling, and I thought that was hilarious. So ever since then, Bill Goldberg guards my PS One saves. So yes, I'm filling Bill Goldberg's insides to bursting with Bubsy is what we're doing okay that's we're on level 15 out of 18 progress was going okay until this last level i mean we'll see if these remaining levels are as uh, onerous we will see i am very curious about that second to last level that apparently has big bubsy i want to know what that's about so uh we're going to continue on after a break. I, I kind of, you know, my thumb not feeling too good because this, like I said, this is a game that used the D-pad and not the analog stick. So my D-pad, my thumb has been rubbing on that D-pad real hard for the past few hours. Um, fingerprints are rubbing off at this rate. So look at take a little break. Are you ready to continue to open your heart to Bubsy? WWBD, what would Bubsy do in a, in a case like this as we enter the next level? Which is what? <clears throat> what's happening in this one? What's the theme? I shouldn't ask what's the theme. None of these levels have themes. The levels make it seem like they have themes. None of them do. Runaway Wooly. Is this actually going to be like on a runaway train? <clears throat> or, uh... Alright, this has cars. This is a cars level. Okay, we start off where enemies can shoot us. That's fine. Actually, is that water? Are we standing in the middle of water? It might be? Alright. Which one do we want to want to get on well, let's try this one because it has like all these all these atoms oh this is heading to a stop sign can go from here. I mean, this is water, isn't it? It looks like it. Oh, can I get up there? No, and that is water. Uh, is this level going to have anything to do with a train? Or should I not even ask? Oh, this just goes back and forth like this. In the water we go. Is he, is he quoting the Road Warriors when he says that? I guess. What what is that? Would that be another reference of some? And he's dead. He's dead and invincible. Okay, 
we're gonna have to jump off as soon as we can. Yep. Nope. A little later. Wait a little later. This level is starting very promising. I think we're all gonna have a good time with this one. So I think what happened there is I hit the edge of the platform, and since there was water underneath, it counted as instant death? That happens sometimes. I'm a little unclear as to the, ex the exact parameters of Bubsy dying in the air like that. Alright, well, let's try getting on the other one. <clears throat> what happens if I just stay on this? It looks like it takes me back to... Yeah, that's where we started. So it goes in a loop. And we can get on this. Where do I need to get off on this? Right, that's a stop sign right there. So this is the where I went the first time. But is there anywhere I can get off? I can't jump on that platform. It doesn't seem like there's anywhere to go from here. About, oh, what about it over there? Can I make that? I cannot make that. No, I can. I did not think Bubsy could make that. Please, snakes. I, I need to try to jump on that platform. happened a few times. A checkpoint is next to water, and I'm running at the checkpoint to get away from enemies and then run into the water. It's, it's more than once. It's happened more than once. Here's an invisibility. I hate every sound we're hearing right now. Go over here. That was water. Target enemy was right here. I think it passed him. No, I could not. So let's see. Is it the green water? Is the blue not water? The blue is not water. got a car. Where's this car taking us? That's where it's taking us. There was a platform right before the stop sign. <clears throat> uh, 
Oh, there we go. I just had to blind jump. Here's a telescope. What does it want to show me? Over there. Rocket piece. Don't know how we we get over there. Maybe there's a car that would do it. Mm. Is that an area we should go to? <clears throat> that is a nice co color combination. It's nice and eye searing. <laughs> no, not that way, maybe. would love to hear Bubsy's rendition of Hamlet. Right, well, Arrow says this way. bomb enemy is here. Don't really want to be here, but okay, yeah, there we go. Right, the reason we came up here was to see the telescope. That's right. That's right. Arrow is pointing this way. Yeah. What's the switch do? Cube. Did we see a cube? <clears throat> That's just water that down there. But cube activate. Well, 
Ware Cube. You have to find it. There's a couple one-ups down there. Might as well. there before? I don't remember seeing the car here before. Of course, we cannot trust the cars. We'll have, we'll have to jump off at some point. Okay. Oh no, this is a new area right here. We haven't been here. I guess when an activated cube, that was the car. I... I suppose. Oh, the rocket piece is below me. Is that the reason to come here? Actually, where? I thought I saw... I'm sure I saw it just a second ago. There's a car beneath me. Maybe I should drop onto that. Give that a try. Which is hard to do. Be yeah, because of this. And it's not going to let me do it. There we go. Oh, we, got, we managed to get on this. Oh, there it is. This is the exit. Well, I fell. I'm sure we'll find our way back up there. What was the progression to get up there? I think we went this way. Yeah. I remember this now. We, I went this direction, but what did we do? Houston, we have a problem. Arrows pointing this way. Go this way. It's nice. All right, we will go this way.
go this way. All right, this platform. Onto the blue and red, that's right. So I guess when I fell off by the exit, it really just did drop me off near the beginning of the of the level. Alright. Car. I, I pressed that uh, switch. The car was then activated. There it is. Right, and we're going to stop in here. Up we go. Another car over there. Get it? Yeah, there we go. Drop in. Okay, then onto this platform. Exits over there. And we have this platform. You want to try to get this jump? <laughs> okay, almost. Almost there. Back we go. Nope, not on the water. Car. There's car. Let's not fall. Let's instead get in car. Once again, go up the stairs. Actually, let's drop down at this checkpoint. Because this, the final jump is oddly difficult. It doesn't look like it's difficult. But it, it's been a problem. Here we go. here. 
Just look at that platform. That's where it, that's where it goes back. And grab on. Move a little bit to the right side. Jump about there. Okay. Feels like it shouldn't have been that hard. But at least it was a short level. Compared to the last one. No. Again, there was no race. There has not been any races in this game. I guess I'm just a little annoyed at these scenes portraying something that was cooler than actually happened in the gameplay. Also, that level had nothing to do with a train. There was no train at any point. There was no runaway train. I understand that, like, there's, there's like, little puns and stuff in the names of the levels. The, lev the name level names should have something to do with what's actually happening in, in the level. However, considering that what's actually happening in these levels is kind of nothing, um, then maybe they couldn't actually come up. Like, what would you name that level if you were trying to name it after what's actually happening in the level? None of these levels have any sort of theme or, like, coherent location. It's just, like, colorful polygons. They don't even look like a, a town or a city or anything. There was, like, a couple levels that kind of look like a factory. That's, like, the closest thing we've had so far to there being some kind of recognizable location. But, like, most of this is just colorful polygons. It doesn't look like anything. But this next level is Bubsy up against the wall, hopefully to be put to death by Firing Squad. We can only hope. This is Bright Light. A big woolies. He's being interrogated under the hot lights for his crimes. That's not going to happen in this level. We actually got like a unique background. It's not good, but I mean, I guess it's something. It's something unique. Like, if we actually had some sort of Detective Noir-themed level, that would be pretty cool. It's not what we're getting. Some sort of murder mystery level. Something with some kind of intrigue. Whoops. That was beneath, I, that was beneath the platform. I jumped beneath it. But I mean, none of these none of these levels actually have anything going on, despite the title graphics here. saying a whole lot recently either he hasn't been gifting us with his pearls of of humor where he references things that don't have no don't mean anything in relation to what's going on in the game he hasn't been doing too much of that
wrong. It's wrong. I just realized that this this level does actually have something resemb oh, there's resembling music. Second time I've tr I've done that. Again, too early, I think. I wish Bubsy had more death animations. I mean, it's probably an E for everyone game. So actually looking at the manual, the box here, I don't actually see a, a rating. Is there a rating on this? I don't see one. It's an unrated game, I guess. Hey, the free willing days before, uh, before the ratings. Maybe they could have like slip in a shockingly explicit death scene that you only get like one out of a thousand deaths. What is the thing here? No, still no. It's a weird jump. Try the glide jump. It... Nope, that's not. That's not helpful. Ah, yes. Still not entirely sure what triggers that. I was about to say, the way I would like to see this game end for Bubsy, since, you know, we're talking about the references and all that, I would like to see Bubsy's ending scene being him recreating Jennifer Connelly's ending scene from Requiem for a Dream. But is that a bit much? Maybe is that going a bit too far, maybe?
Mm. Yeah, I keep do I th I keep doing the same series of platforms. I think this is the only way to go. Like there's not is, we're on an island. There's not many places to go. I think this is the path we take. It's just I can't seem to do it. Might always be that I could do something a bit different, but I don't know if I I don't know if there is the option to do anything different. Oh, uh, there it is. There it is. Why was it so easy that time? Okay, so we're here. Oh, wait, there's something down there. I guess we're jumping down there. No, apparently not. That seemed like the top of the platform. What was what else is there to do? Was there somewhere else I could go? It seems like the only this is the only path. I don't think there's anywhere else to go. Way too early. Way too early. Hmm. Now I'm... I don't know. We can get back to the top of those platforms. <clears throat> but now I'm going to be concerned about exactly what to do there. Not, I'm not getting the timing on that. I, w I wonder if the, the way those platforms move, I wonder if it's symmetrical every time, or if they move a few times that they get... the distance changes, maybe? a puzzling one. It doesn't look like it should be that hard, but I'm only got it once so far. And that one time it actually was pretty easy. Okay, so if we just look at this, does this change at all? I don't think it does. There we go. Okay, down. Okay, there we go. Work that time. Just like Mom used to make. Can I shoot him up there? No. 
could only shoot horizontally. This is a weird position. Spider over there. I see like a location that I should be going to. Oh, there's a switch. Blue platform. Okay, it's not the spider switch. It is blue platform. Do I see blue platform? That, is that it? No, that's like a, f they're all blue over there. They're faded in the distance. Anyway, blue platform. That's further away than I thought it was. And I make that jump. I guess maybe that's the blue platform. Okay, I can make that one. Says I'm supposed to go that way. No, actually, there are two arrows. What's this two arrows business? Well, I can't go that way. We have to go this way, because this is where Blue Platform is. I don't know what I should jump on. There we go. There's a switch. Cage. I hate jumping over the water. I have no idea if I'm going to survive it. Nope, don't. Okay, we're on spider. We're on top of spider. Another spider here. There's a checkpoint. Let's go get that. Propeller below me. Not sure why it's there. There's a switch over this way. Cage. Spider's loose. Okay, landed right on him.
green plat. Okay, we ran into a switch. Activate the green platform. And we're going back to where? The nope, don't do that to me, Bubsy. Don't do that to me. We're going back here. Can I jump back on these platforms? Anything. I can't get to blue from here, can I? I don't think I can. That seem and that one seems too high. Are there any platforms I could actually? I mean, maybe I could use him as a platform. Okay, now we're just gonna go walk on water again. So a green platform. I assume that we know where that is. That's just back here, but we don't want to be here. Um, how do we get back to where we need to be? Well, I mean, that was... Whoops, uh, that was the reason that we freed... We freed this spider to get a, to get to green switch. How do we get... I mean, I, I can assume we know where green switch is. It's where blue platform... The green platform was next to the blue platform. How do we get there? So we use this one to get to the green switch. And then from there, we went back to the previous platform. this one. Yeah, I know, Bubsy. I know. I know. I don't think... Can I... Yeah, okay, I can. I can. We can grab one. Died. It's hard to... It's hard to tell where any of these platforms are. one of these there we go and then try to figure out what like which of any of this can i get to there we go oh, no 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 and then on here and then on to no 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 i thought blue platform was closer than that We have to get go where we were going, get onto blue platform, and then a uh, green platform is on the other side. Not that. 
that. And onto that. And then wait for blue. Wait for blue to come. Here it comes. Right, now, it'll take us to red. Is that not where green is? Where is green? Oh, there's green. Green's going this way. Green is taking us over here. I hear the rubber, the sounds of the rubber snake, which I hate. Okay. I was wondering, how am I supposed to get off of this? There is one that comes around here. Switch over there. Right, here's a spider. Oysters are us. What does that mean, Bugsy? Well, we're dead anyway. It wasn't, I wasn't a reference to anything, Bubsy. So this level, this primary, the theme of this level is islands. It's nothing to do with, I don't know, crime or being interrogated. Or being in the big city. Like, there's a poorly drawn background of a city, I guess. Once again, that jump, I'm still not sure how to do. Like, the times I've done it, I'm not sure why I did it, as opposed to any other time. That one. Oh. I died anyway. I did it. I did the jump too good that time. Don't do it too good. Okay, just right. I just like mom used 
Sometimes when he picks up the like the thing that lets him shoot ten shots, he says just like mom used to make. What does that mean? It's not food. He's not eating it. He says it's specifically for that one. There's, there's a switch up there, isn't there? Yeah, here. This is blue platform. I don't know about that one. I don't know about that one. I disagree with that one there. There's sometimes when I'm thinking about if I should be using Bubsy's, you know, all of Bubsy's abilities, like the glide jump and shooting the atoms, but I can't figure out how that would actually be helpful in many of these situations. Like the glide has barely any horizontal movement and seems like there's so little opportunities to actually use the atom shooting usefully.
So in this level, it seems like the main obstacle has been water. Not necessarily being close to water. But being shot while the while on platforms that are over water. We're sometimes not being shot when on a platform that's over water. And it's just a death anyway. Gimme, gimme, gimme. In the end, water is a problem. And it... Yeah. So, I, I don't know what ha something hit me, I guess. This game has a number of puzzling decisions, but <clears throat> the how fast water can kill you, I feel is one of one of the most puzzling. Now, let me first go get that checkpoint. <clears throat> Switch. the green and on to blue and then we have this bit right here many platforms moving around kind of hard to tell which ones we should be going for Overshot that. Overshot it again. That's getting impatient. I wonder how long this level is. Because progress is very slow, just because of instant water death. Like there is incremental progress. Okay. 
But of course, any and all progress can be lost instantly because water. Because cat. Cat don't like water. Cat instantly die when touch water. It's always terrifying every time I jump at one of those guys on these platformers. Because it just might be instant death before I reach the platform. Okay. The blue platform is active. Spider. Green platform. here. We have to try to grab a platform. And hopefully not die because we're platforming over water. Nope. Like that. I do not, Bubsy. I do not. Right, 
Oh yeah, that's right. The spider's already active. We can just we can just go. We can just go. spider just took us back to the platforms instead of dropping us off here but what are you gonna do spiders go where spiders will go not where we want them to go okay we got back here we know the pattern for the platform just you know take our time Comes green. Of course, we hear the, the sound of rubber snakes, which is definitely the enemy in the game that I don't like the most, more than any of the others. All right. That's right. And there are dudes shooting at us while I'm trying to figure out the platforms. here. Cage. Spider down there. I don't see Spider, but he might be too far away to be drawn in yet. Alright, let's head on down. Okay, here he is. Alright, this is the furthest we've gotten in this level yet. I had to duck. Well, that did it say did it say red platform? So it was red plat. Red platform is moving. Nothing ever lets, but nothing. Bubsy never lets anything get him down. No matter how many times he drowns to death, no matter how many times he inhales water and feels the the liquid of the ocean fill his lungs, he enjoys it really.
No, that was too. No, that wasn't happening. Bubsy, please stop. platform. The thing that kind of gets me about that is normally Bubsy will try real hard to grab the edges of platforms, even like sometimes when I don't want him to. It's something that he will do frequently. But if we're over the water, he just might not. And instead go into his death animation. Yes, we've all been here, Bubsy. We've been here many times, and we'll probably will be here many times more. So that one, that one time where we hit that switch and fall off, do I just, should I jump at the platform, at the switch as we approach it? Maybe that's what I should do.
Page. Here again. Blue platform. Red platform. Green platform. This platform is going to come in. You try to get platforms higher up while dudes shoot at us. That one. Nope. Fortunately, this bit is... I was about to say it's not over water, but sometimes the platforms do go over water. Okay, we can get up on here. This. Alright, so now cage. Alright, so... We're going to want to jump on that switch as we approach it, I think. We'll see if that works. It's high up. Uh, could ducking work? We don't use duck too much, but it is there. One up. You're referring to when mom made you, Bubsy? still not clear on that jump. Sometimes I make it and sometimes I don't. But knowing what's coming later, I really do have to be able to get it because we need to have at least one life spare by the time we get to that red switch. Under the assumption that I'm gonna die when we hit the switch.
No, that's not gonna do it. That's not gonna do it. Let me just take the game over. We need more lives by the time we get to the later part. Can't die the it can't die this many times this early. We're just not gonna have enough by the time we get there. Keep forgetting when I jump up, that guy just shoots me immediately. I should delay that by like a second. How did I do that? Finger pressed down on R2, I guess. I should not have jumped again immediately, because I was over the water. Alright, let's take the game over again.
Where's it? What's he emerging from there? I can't tell where he is, but I mean, that's not surprising considering none of this game actually looks like a place or a location of some kind. Even his, his enemies, the Woolies, are just sort of... Just sort of kind of blobbish things that you wouldn't really say have anything resembling details. Maybe that's just how Bubsy sees them. He doesn't identify... He doesn't really... Perceive them as having identifiable traits. Doesn't see them as people. Alright, here we go. No, oh, not quite. Not quite. I don't get the- I don't understand the jump. Sometimes I just barely make it. There was that one time where I, like, actually landed too far forward and then died because I went off the other edge. The front edge. I don't know how I did that. Usually, it's pulling away by the time I get there. Okay, there we go. Wow. I kind of slid along the platform as I was running. That was weird. Let's take the game over. We gotta have more lives when we get to the end. As we can assume that we're gonna die a bunch more times along the way. And I need to have one spare life by the time I reach the red switch. It's such an unforgiving level. can't, if I'm, when it's coming at me, I'm further away. Should I make the jump then, or should I wait for my platform to be closer? I can't seem to find a, cons a consistent point to make the jump. Uh, 
Like, it seems like I'm guess I get different results from doing the same thing. again. Alright, well, once again, let's take the game over. I'm not getting better at that jump. It's like sometimes I make it. doesn't feel like there's ever an actual good time to try to do it. So if we're looking at this... Does it change as the more it does this? I don't know if it is. It doesn't really seem like it is. Well, that actually worked. Stupid is as stupid does. Okay, so basically I waited until they were both going the same direction, which was away, and then jumped, and that made it. Maybe that's maybe that'll work. Well, if we could have a consistent way of doing it. That will be helpful. So we can at least get here without dying. And of course, the, of course, there'll be many deaths to come here. But at least we would have more lives for those many deaths.
we go. The green switch. <clears throat> go to now this is this one the green switch that yeah, one's green switch gonna grab platforms and hopefully get back to the blue platform it's kind of hard to tell where everything is and then that can happen I should jump on the red one first. Maybe Bubsy should consider investing in, like, I don't know, like a life preserver. Those inflatable things you might put on, a, like, a child's arms. It, se it seems like it would be very useful for Bubsy. this one. Now, will ducking work? We will see. Nope. It did not. He still got pushed off. We did activate the red platform, though. So it's moving. Uh, can we jump onto it when it's moving? Let's see. No. No. No, we can't. Well, maybe we could have. I kind of bumped into it. We had a lot, so that's a bit of a problem. Like, even if we survive, even if we, if we have a spare life, if we have a spare life and we get the red switch, we still have to try to make that jump onto the moving red platform.
No, why, why did I do that? Why did I do that? Okay, so let's see. The way I did it last time was... Nope, that's not it. That was different. That was a different... That was different than it was before. It's not always the same. Like a million. That was a new line from Bubsy. He didn't say that before. I'm happy to hear new voice lines from Bubsy. So these platform, the green and red platforms, like I can jump on them when they're not moving pretty, pretty well, but they will be moving. Taken here. And then it opens cage. Then I, apparently I was standing over the water. Back in time to party. There's no partying happening here, Bubsy. No one's having a good time. Right. 
will take us. The green switch. Here, of course, we then jump up on the platforms. Grab a platform. Or we could fall in the water. There's that too. There's that too. Here comes green. We get on that. Just leave. The spider's out there. Yep, spider left. We'll try to jump over the switch. Here it comes. Here it comes. So let's, so a problem, like even if I had another life, I didn't activate the switch when I died. If I just stand and take the death, at least the switch will turn on. So maybe the thing to do is just simply to take it. Also, so far, my attempt to jump over the switch has not worked. I've died both times I've tried it. Okay, how does this look? This is a little different. So last time it was like this. Yeah. Jumped down it like that.
was too far away. Why did I do that? Oh, this is what I live for. It is it, Bubsy? I didn't realize you were into self-flagellation as well. Green platform. Comes green. Here's Spider. Now Spider will kill us to turn on the red switch. platform is moving. Now, how do we jump on a red platform? Mm 
It takes a while for Red Platform to get back. How far does it go? Okay, we got on it. We got on Red Platform. I'm assuming that's all water underneath us. So can I make that jump? I don't see anything else moving. I guess we have to try. I guess we're gonna have to jump. Yes, okay, we can make that jump. All right, this is the furthest we've gotten so far. Let's take a moment to look around. There is a spider over there. Another platform right here. It's over water, so that this is terrifying. Spider is over there. Okay. That was close. Spider is below us. Okay, so I guess... You can just drop down there, jump on him. Where is he taking us? Is he gonna kill us? We've turned on all the platforms. Where is he taking us? Is it to here? Is it just to here? All right, if we stayed on him, he would be going back? Would he vanish over the water? Oh, the camera's so bad. Alright, time for platforming. Camera, please. It's like an island over there with like a one-up. But we're not gonna bother with that. tense, but one thing I want to mention is that this building actually looks like some sort of, I don't know, setting? As opposed to nothing? Should I go that way, or should I go onto the roof to get the checkpoint? You shoot me through the roof? I think that may be... Yeah, okay, I saw it. Thank you. 
Oh, I'm on, I, I, I am on that island. That is where this went. I guess we just go back then. But where does that go? Maybe this is where we go. bunch on this island. He always says that when we get the invincibility. It doesn't, it doesn't mean anything. Nope, not in the water. Oh my god. Okay. What, this again? I feel like they're not putting forth the best effort in these level-ending animations. Oh, Bubsy got revenge that time. He got, he got his revenge. All right. What a wretched, wretched level. I like how it briefly shows the rocket screen. Only very briefly because no, we didn't get anything. We no, and we're not going to get anything. <clears throat> Stay successful? Okay. Alright. The next level is the one that I've been waiting for, in which we, we could see what Big Bubsy here is all about. But that'll have to be after a break, because I am kind of dazed and unfocused after this water level of make a mistake and you die instantly. That mistake might be falling off of a platform, but instead of grabbing the edge, you'll just die automatically. Just, you'll just, that'll just happen. That'll just happen. <clears throat> um, we're just, we're going to take a break. All right, now it's time. Now it's time for the game to get good. I'm sure it's gonna get good because look at this thumbnail. Look at this scruffy, badass, black clad Bubsy with an eye patch. How can this level be anything from ex but excellent? I'm expecting a lot here. I'm expecting a lot. And I'm sure I will be satisfied uh, by Bubsy. Escape from wool a, from wool a. That doesn't that doesn't. I mean, I understand it, but it doesn't work. All right, this level looks exactly the same as you know every other level. We got car.
Jump from car to car. Arrow says go this way. Another car. Very car-based level, I suppose. I got knocked out of the car. Where did I get knocked to? Alright, well, I guess it's not bad. This is a new area. That's too far. I think. Maybe I could have made it. can we get to from here? Maybe we can make that. No, I don't, it's a little too far. Let's try that. No. else to go. I could try gliding. Okay, there we go. It gave me a slightly bit more distance. The glide is so useless in, in this game. It's actually kind of remarkable. Can't make up, can't get up there, I don't think. This is the first car, right? Yeah, this is what we were doing. That one goes into the stop sign. That one gets crashed there. Actually, there are two arrows. And right, we'll try this one then. stop sign. Right. Oh. Needed to jump a little bit forward and to the right. <clears throat> well, at least I got a one up. Just about, like, everything on the path here has already been collected. There's kind of nothing for us to do. Except... Jump to car, from car to car. Did it, did it badly again. Did it badly again. I think I need to jump a little earlier because when I am jumping, the car starts to move.
It's gonna be a bumpy ride! Nope, still again. I'm not doing that right. I'm not getting that right. I think maybe I just need to jump earlier. I'm not really seeing it coming, though. I guess another option is to not jump immediately and just hang out in the current car. I mean, at some point that car is going to crash, but maybe I'll have a better opportunity to jump into the other one. No, again. It's again. Anyway, I don't think uh, Big Bubsy is actually appearing in the level. That was just the title screen. Of course, the game itself would not do anything as cool as that. Didn't jump out in time. One thing about the music here, I'm just glad that we're not hearing the constant sound effects that uh, are accompany the enemies that we've been hearing as part of the soundtrack. I'm very happy about that. Is this the one? Yeah. Okay. I do need to get out immediately. This crashes soon after. too early. It was too early. I'm jumping too late with the other one, but jump too early there. Get your motor running. Yes, very good, Bubsy. Are you not saying any more lines? Or are you worried because you didn't you didn't pay for the use of that song? No. Too early that time.
Yes, every time Bubsy is in a car or some kind of vehicle, he just breaks out with, get your motor running. And then people he's around might expect him to continue the song, but then he, do- he doesn't. He just keeps nodding his head and then occasionally just says, get your motor running again. Has he actually heard the song or does he just have that one lyric in the back of his mind? Who knows? All right, having trouble with the timing on some of this. One particular car exchange. Well, that's not the one I was having trouble with. Seems like I'm getting worse at this. Sing it, Bubsy. I demand you sing it. I think it's the next one I have trouble with. I I think I'm jumping too late. Yeah, there we go. Had to jump earlier. Oh, that was the rocket. So, where is the critical path? I mean, we're continuing to move on, so maybe this is. Did that just go back to the beginning? Yeah, it did. Alright, well, that's the case. Which one do we go on? So I've tried both of these now. They both eventually end up back at the beginning. The one on the right was a lot harder and got me a rocket piece. Get your motor running. Get your motor running. Alright, so that one just takes me here. And uh, I was just here because the checkpoint's spinning. So this brings up a question. Of where do we go? There are no arrows pointing to anything for us. I don't see anything in the distance. So where where are we trying to get to? Well, there is a a car up there. We can't actually get there, can we? Though? 
No, I, okay, I can jump into it. It is... I thought it was too high. Drop me off here, but there are platforms. Let's jump over that for a bit. Get to the checkpoint over here. Anything else to do besides the car? more platforms up there. Right, those are too high. Alright, well, let's give this car a try. Keep your arms and legs inside until they oh, that was fast. Bubsy didn't even get to finish his hilarious joke. His wonderful one-liner about keeping your hands and feet inside the car. He died while he was still saying it. platform up there with a car. I think I can jump on it. There's another car over there. You just got up. Just got up right now. It's amazing how much... How much that commercial entered the public consciousness of an old woman lying on the floor yelling how she's fallen and can't get up. Like that was that was a reference that was everywhere. On this one, car again. Well, we'll keep trying. I guess I just need to wait a little longer before jumping off. That looks like that's taking us to the higher up one above us. Still, even though I'm dying a lot, it's funny how breezy this level feels. Ah, I jumped up too early again. Jumped too early again. It feels it's amazing how breezy this level feels in comparison to the last one. And I guess it's because it's possible to make mistakes without automatically dying. There we go. Alright, what we got here. 
Well, death was the penalty for that mistake. Guess I need to wait until right before it hits that sign. Right before. go into that one, maybe. Or I could go into that one. Looks like, looks like we have a choice. Not clear which is the right choice. But we'll try this one. Alright. I guess it got shot down. If that was the right car to take. And we're continuing on. That's not what I wanted. That's not what I wanted. That's not what I wanted. That's not the one we wanted. I mean, we're getting stuff from it, so... We might as well. It's almost too early.
forgot about that. That is true. Too early. It was too early.
I do like how Bubsy being stunned does does happen when he's in the car. And he's attacked in the car. fall in the water anyway. I don't know which one is the one to go in. I, haven't, I did not try that one over there. It's a lot of, lot of turns. We're just, we're just going the same way. It's going in a loop, I think. So where do I want to get off? And that may... Well... There's a moving platform. I don't know if I'm supposed to jump on that. Too early. It was too early. It's too early. We'll try the one straight ahead instead of the one on the right. All the levels in Bubsy 3D are quite short. It's just having to do a lot of this stuff repeatedly. If you look at where we are in the level, the last place where we were, really you could get back to it in like two minutes. It's 
assuming like something doesn't happen, like getting shot while you're in the car. So you get stunned and can't jump out. Another option is to get shot while you're jumping over the water. Pause. Alright, that's true. We can see Bubsy's horrific expression at any time just by pausing the screen. If anytime you want to know how he's feeling, there you go. I like how the music just stops dead when you do that, too. Kind of a jump scare, really. A Bubsy jump scare. Ah, ah, too early. It was too early. Difficulty in a few of the levels tends to come down to just a few jumps that I have a lot of difficulty with the timing on. Like that one. Not to say the rest of the level isn't hard. But I find that... That tends to be the, the choke point in a number of the levels. To wait until the instant before it hits that sign. There. I think I had an easier time jumping on the right platform. Let's try that. There we go. All right, let's see where this goes. Well, we, we went on this once before. I don't remember now what happened. Okay, yeah. It blows up there. We land on this. And what happened when we were here? I think probably what would happen where we, we were just shot to death before we actually got to this. Oh, thought I needed to jump on that. Well, maybe I do need to jump on it. Actually, I think I do. I think it might be the first time. Like the first time we did that, I think maybe I hit a sign. So I think I do have to jump onto those platforms immediately. I'm very- I'm still very sad that Big Bubsy is not showing up. It's a sad state.
Right, I needed to wait until he fired. Because then I would get stunned and then go into the sign. We're going to try to jump on that right platform. That was too early. And that's... That's that. He's not going to... It was one of those. to jump out immediately, I think. Ugh. Can I? Can I jump out immediately? I feel like the... F I'm not sure if it's a false memory, but I feel like the first time I did that, that ship runs almost immediately into a sign. I thought I was going to get shot. thought I was going to get shot. Don't know if that shot... I don't... That shot might not have hit me if I stayed in. Thank you. 
again I'll try to get onto that to here all right let's just take let's just see where this goes maybe I'm remembering this wrong actually no that one this one goes here not the one I'm thinking of This is the one I'm thinking of. Yep, that goes into the sign immediately. What do we have around us? This is the furthest we've been. We have two now. Uh, we have two birds doing their thing, which is gonna kill me. Survive the birds. Is that Jim? All right. Let's take a look around us. I don't think there's anywhere we can go aside from straight ahead. Now, how will this kill us? Like that? What? What am I seeing here? Thing. Doesn't seem like I can interact with it, but it's like something different. It's something distinctive, which is not what Bubsy does. Bubsy just has the same uh, cubes and triangles and cones everywhere. That's like an actual model of something, and that's not what this game does. Weird. Like, actually seeing something distinctive is weird in this game. Man, that was so little time to react to that. Alright, 
I'm very worried about this, because that sign came so fast, I didn't register where it was. Okay, actually, no, the next one. The next one is what I'm thinking of. This one. Wow, look at all these one-ups. Alright, but there's nothing actually to do up here. Except jump down there. down there. Have I taken the one that's down there? I'm not sure. I don't think I have. Checkpoint. Back here, I guess. Right. So where then are we supposed to go? We can get back on this. It just goes here. So we were on that and took me up there. And then hit a sign there. But there was nowhere to go after that. And go down there. That one goes to the right. There's a crash if it go like... So this one goes to the right, that one goes to the left. But if, if I stay in this one, do I die? Okay. Goes in a loop. Oh, there's some switches over here. So, what are these? Gotta try to hit the switches. the switches do. Vroom, vroom. Ah, okay. I think there was more than one switch. Yeah, 
it was like what well, I dropped I guess I have to hit that try to hit that yellow one I don't get far enough for the red one I hit it. What did it do? And that one's spinning. There's actually, oh, there's another one. That, there's four. There's four of them. can't actually see him from this distance. Let's see if we can get closer. You can only see one from here. There it is. All right. Well, that really wasn't much compared to the previous level. Previous level was much worse. This, you know, it ha this wasn't great. Well, none of them are great. None of them are good. None of them are okay. But at least it went faster. Is this race going to end? Oh, Bubsy finally won the race. He won. Oh, is this how he's is this how he's ending up at the palace? Is that how that's working? He's at the palace. There's one more level to go. And we're I'm going to meet the t the two queens, the two queens of the woolies. So is there, like, I don't know, some sort of storyline happening during those little cutscenes? But certainly it's not happening during the game. I know that much. Still very disappointed at th that, that there was no big Bubsy. Bubsy 3D has let me down. It has let me down. But certainly the queens will not disappoint us, right? The queens are going to come through and it, it'll make the whole thing worthwhile. It's going to save everything. We're going to fall in love with the woolly queens. And we're going to say, man, I'm glad we did this. I'm glad we went through Bubsy 3D so we could beat these classic, classic video game characters. That's what's going to happen. 
But first, we're going to take one final break. Welcome back, pussy lovers, to the final segment of Bubsy 3D. He, in that cutscene we saw at the end of that last level, that had nothing to do with the level, is that Bubsy is now at the palace of the two queens. He is there. He is there. I, I, I clicked change options. I, did, I, I didn't mean to do that. That's fine. You can change. You can like turn the music off if and if you wanted. Not that I never think. Not that I never think about turning the music off. The music is part of the experience. It's part of the Bubsy soundscape. I would never dream of robbing you of the full Bubsy experience. Time to finish this. The final stretch. Oh, goodness. It's getting kinky at the end of Bubsy 3D. Maybe this is going to get interesting. Actually, no. This kind of just looks like uh, another of the levels. Oh, what is that? Did I stomp on it? I'm guessing no. No. Some kind of automated guard. The royal guard, I suppose. But you know what I'm happy about? I do not see any water. There is no water on the screen at the moment. It's all solid floor. I mean, I died. It's fine. That's fine. The important thing is there's no water. And I'm okay with that. I gotta, I, I gotta see Bubsy put through this press. Bubsy looks like he's enjoying himself. I'm gonna say. Wow, they, sh they shoot pretty fast. This is a rapid fire happening. Oh, it's a two-headed guy from the beginning. He didn't seem that big. All right, we're on a platform. He is stomping. Hmm. We need to get him to move around. I can jump on these. Oh, and that lets me get above him. Okay, so we can bop him. I think that's worked. Oh, yeah, he's getting smaller. Boss defeated. Okay. It only took a couple. Oh, what? Did I just get teleported back?
Oh, get touching those does that. Okay. Hmm. Can I not... Can I not stomp them? Doesn't seem so. They seem invulnerable to my stomps. Which is odd. Because they just look kind of look like normal enemies. Anything down these other ways? No, just some empty space. Right. Why do we deal with these guys? If I use the run button, I can go faster than them. But it's hard to hit the switches. is a little confusing. Ah, they move so fast. When I try to jump to avoid them, then I end up not hitting the switches. Don't know if there's a way to deal with them. Right. I don't know if there's a way to deal with them. There are more one-ups. Could go get. Okay, we got that. Let me just run right at that switch. Just run right at it. Okay, no, I guess I guess they. Try to work my way over there without losing all my health. Oh, actually, I guess I can get to the side route. Yeah. We can just do that. Alright, so that side route's just available. Like that. Alright, just, just get to that switch. Get to that switch. Oh. It's not spinning. Why is that not spinning? Okay, I guess I have to jump on it. have to hit the switches. I think there was a side door open. Well, let's go get the one up. Yowza! Yowza indeed. Those are not- they're not spinning anymore. Like, this door is just open right here. Uh oh, there's some water. We got some water in here. Okay, those guys are not coming out here. Is 
there anywhere to go? Or do I need to hit the switches for something to happen here? That just might be the case. Is there anything I can do with these guys? Like, it's so weird that they seem invincible. I'm just so fast. there a certain combination that it has to be in? I'm assuming they stopped spinning, and I'm assuming that sound means it didn't work. Have we seen, like, a clue for a color combination? I don't remember seeing anything. I can't think of seeing anything that would look like a clue. So, okay, let's try this. This is a green. This is a red. Blue. Green, red, blue. Okay, that did not work. Yellow. That didn't work. You did read the instructions, didn't you? <sighs> Yellow. Game over. Let's see. He, I mean, if we saying, did I read the instructions? So, let's say anything in the instructions. I have the manual here, of course. Looking at the hints section. Uh, anything here? Oh, okay. It does actually mention something. If you see a woolly totem pole, there's probably a good reason it's there. Remember the order of the colors. So that that thing we saw in a previous level. Need to remember the order of the colors that they were in. So that's uh, I, I guess we need the need it now. Um <clears throat> I doubt there's any additional hint. No, it does not seem like it. But, I mean, Bubsy was correct when he said, didn't you read the manual? Is that the manual does... The manual does give you a hint. Uh, let's see. Hold on a moment. I did, th I did think when we saw it, that that looked unusual because, hey, that's like an actual uh, model of something, which this game has not been doing. To some 
just doing a little a little skimming and see if I can locate oh actually it looks like someone has already has already found the colors saying that from base to top it's red blue green yellow okay actually I just found it now myself okay so yeah which way does this actually need to be done top to bottom or bottom to top well I would probably say that we should try it from top to bottom um, at least that's what I would that's like what my automatic thing that I would that I would think that we should do Actually, what was this way? We never went this way. Oh, wait, no. This is the way we go. That's fine. All right. Here's this guy. I don't know why he's so big. He definitely was not as big in the intro. Something I mentioned previously, and I just, you know, can't emphasize it enough how little feedback there is when you actually do damage to someone. This is different. Question marks. Anything else in this room? Doesn't seem so. I got a one up. What a rush! So what is that about? So if we go left at the at the entrance, it leads it leads to that. Going right leads to the big man. So I'm just assuming I'm doing damage because he died last time after doing that. A couple times. Maybe we need to do it a third time. This bit. Yeah, yeah. Teleported me back, but we can just go through here.
All right, so yellow, green, blue, red. We'll try that. even hit the red what happened hmm. I'm not sure actually sure what happened there like when I hit the blue it stopped Oh, that was already spinning. I'm gonna have to do it again. got the bad sound effect. Try it the other way. Red. Well, dying. Let's get another one up. Red, blue. Red is spinning. Blue is not. No, blue is. That would mean green, yellow. I tried it both ways now. That's the only, um, that's the only one of those totems we've seen. We haven't seen one anywhere else in the game. So it was yellow, green, blue, red from top to bottom. Trying it both ways doesn't do anything. There's also that odd one we saw. I mean, I... There was, like, one at the beginning of the intro, of the, of the palace, but I got that one on this run, so that one is active. But it said question marks. We don't know what that does. level could give us any sort of advice oh there's like question marks That just killed us, I guess. I don't understand. Are they still here? Or did I get them? Alright, I got them. They killed me, but I got them. Right over here. 
There's something here. Question marks. So there are other switches in the palace besides the four in this room. I don't understand why there were like three question marks here that I got and they killed me. I'm not, I'm not sure what's happening. Okay, go look around here some more. Doesn't seem like there's anything out here. I'm not aware of a way to kill these enemies, which is a problem because I would like to be able to look around, but it's not easy to do considering the uh, circumstance. All right, so this is the one I got before. Not seen any others. It's hard to tell what the puzzle even is. So there are two additional switches that, when we hit them, say question marks. That one's still spinning. Well, go get a one up. Ah, one stop shopping. So then, in here, we have four different colors on the switches. Well, let's see. So they all have a red base, and the, the top of each one is a different color. They all have di the same color propeller. Just wondering if that meant anything. I don't think it does. Um, the one over here, what is it? What is its colors? This one. It's blue on top, but the colors on the sides are all of them. What does that mean? I guess one question that would come up is, it, it, would it even be possible to solve this puzzle? Or is there another switch around that I would need to get? Hmm.
just whammed again when I did that. That was the, the order of yellow, green, blue, red. You can go out here. And come to a dead end of, of water. Now, what I might guess is that if we get the switches right, I might assume, like, a door opens here that lets us go in there. I'm guessing. Why was it that we saw the totem? Hold on. Let me... <laughs> uh, Bubsy's expression... Very, very accurate for the situation. So, looking at the manual again, if you see a woolly totem pole, it's prob there's probably a good reason it's there. Remember the order of the colors. So we saw the pole. We have the order of the colors. Why w If it's not for this, then what was that for? stare down there. Why are these guys invincible? Not too much to look at. What if we just run through the middle of this room? Is there anything to look at? I mean, there's nothing we can really look at because we're getting assaulted by bullets. and getting a higher look. Anything around? Doesn't seem like it. I suppose those patterns would... Nah, I don't see how those patterns would mean anything. So we can go back into the front part of the castle. But we know what we're gonna find. I think that we've already gone through all the hallways here. Kill Donald! Or just one that I miss. And what were the, what was the deal with those question marks that I picked up and killed me? Does that have anything to do with anything? Beginning of the level. Really anything to look at. And I mean, looking at things while we're being shot by bullets. goes to this mystery switch. Which seems to be the same colors as the one 
further in the level. The two question mark switches. And those are still spinning. Like, they didn't stop at any point. I'm wondering is that if there's something here we should be looking at to get that clue in what places could we be looking at it and not getting shot at and there's like a cube up there with the colors on it but there's not like an not like an order I don't, I don't know if there would be a way of discerning an order from that The manual does mention the totem. And we've seen a totem. We know what that looks like. But the one that we got in the previous level, the order of those colors, does not seem to be working here. Seems like we're standing in a place where they, they're not going to shoot us. mind. Watch it. He just took his time, I guess. Back at the beginning. And it doesn't seem to be anything around in this level to really look at. And the question that would come up is is if there is a totem and I have to see what is it in the an area where I'm being shot at like this? And if it is, it's not like I can really stop to take a look. And if there is, I don't know where it would be. Tried. Like climbing up here. And there are those cubes like that. Does the cube mean anything? Like it has the color. Actually, I have not seen red on that. Maybe it's on that the far side that we can't see. it's at all possible that the order would include like not hitting all four or like hitting one twice I don't know if it could work that way well maybe it could because there was one time where I only hit three colors and then it stopped before I hit the fourth maybe it I wonder if that could be possible I'm just looking at- I'm staring at that cube. I'm wondering if maybe- yeah, Bubsy, please. I know you're impatient. <clears throat> that looks like, like green, blue, yellow, green. I don't know if it could work that way. Is 
because if it turns out that you can hit more one color more than once, that complicates things. It's hard to stay on the on the platform. The final stretch. I don't suppose there might be a clue on the title screen. It is I don't think there is. Then, the, then there's those switches. Do those other switches need to be hit? I have no idea what they do. Shoot me yeah, okay. I was gonna say, can they shoot me when I'm standing on this? And the answer is, of course, yes. Constant onslaught is kind of hard to deal with. I'm thinking that there might be something else in here that I need to look at, but at the same time, all this is happening. Here's this guy. I suppose if we just ask nice, he might give us the combination. Probably not. See ya. No, he's not he's not dead, Bubsy. Let's 
so I mean this part we know how to do. Over here. There's another one of these. What are these supposed what's we don't know what these are. What I do know is that if I go to the other side, I go to the other side, there's going to be question mark icons. Do I need to get one of the question mark icons? And then we come to here, which we still don't have any information as to, any additional information as to what it is that we're doing with that. So we, ha we had the totem from the previous level, but it appears that is not the actual combination. I think I can jump on that. And of course, we can go back and we can explore this area. The problem is, is trying to explore this area, is that we will be surrounded by those guys. It's like a flat surface up there. I'm pretty sure I cannot... I'm pretty sure I cannot get up there. It'd be pretty cool if we could just walk up there. Not sure if that flat surface is just there for decoration or if you can actually walk up there. The final stretch, and they are stretching it out, aren't they? Look, you're getting your money's worth. Because you're getting such value. Look at this value you're getting. Look how long this game's going. Yeah, there is something in there. There's like an area. I can't jump up this slope. I, don't, I doubt you're supposed to just do this until you glitch your way through. Trying to jump up there with everyone shooting at me. I don't know if I should make an assumption that if it's a section where I'm being riddled with bullets that I shouldn't be exploring there. Considering, you know, the game we're playing here. Considering what the game has been like. It's just not... It's not something I can simply just say that's probably the case. Like, in, in most games... I would say if I'm running through an area where there are invincible enemies peppering me with bullets constantly, 
Clearly, I'm not supposed to actually do any sort of exploring there because it's just not, you know, it's not doable. Uh, I can't say that for this game. Of course, there are those. Question mark switches. What do they do? No. Then there are the question mark items. So I feel like two of them hurt me, but I'm not sure if all of them did. I'm not sure if one of them didn't hurt me. we have to do the boss first. Keep forgetting about him. Because the main thing I'm thinking about is doing the exploration and trying to figure this out, but then we, keep, we do have to get past him. Oh. Alright. This one, question marks appear. Honestly, did all of the question marks hurt me? Or did one of them not? That one hurt me. One hurt me. And no, that's t that's two lives. That one was two lives. Okay, so one of them is a two up. The others hurt you. Okay. I guess that solves the mystery of the question marks. One of them is good, the others are not, I suppose. Alright, so the other thing we were looking at was this 
thing in the middle. It did a we were it did appear that there was an area in between and there was a conspicuous wall that was thinner than the others at the start. And you could see something over it. right here. Doesn't seem like anything changed now that we did everything else. I was kind of wondering if maybe there might be something different, but it doesn't look like it. Is there a way in this inner area? It doesn't seem like the slope changes. I'm not seeing like a, a shallower slope anywhere. Flat area up there. Can we actually jump? Oh, well, we can. We can just okay. Is that intention? Is that how we do it? Wait, right, this is just the beginning. This is, I mean, this is a different part. Um, is it? This isn't the entrance because this doesn't have like the thin part. did go over it. Okay, there's something above that. Something... Uh, something on the other side. Well, maybe we could try. Okay, that worked. in here. Well, there's a rocket piece. You've not been, uh, you know, looking for the rocket. It's not really useful to us at the moment. I guess that's what's in this inner area. Is there anything else? I can't see like I can't see around because if I jump, then the camera pans down. All right, but we found like a a middle area that had something in it that we didn't know about. Oh, they can shoot me from there. Wonderful. Okay, 
So this is the center area. Oh, that was. I guess I think the other side of this would be the entrance to the to the level, because I jump. I was looking from there. I did see like these yellow trees, which means like this bit right here is a different area. I'm not even really sure how I got up it. Like I, like I jumped backwards. I think. It wasn't in this part. It was... It was, like, on the other side of it. Oh, what? What? That, that. It's actually here. Not entirely sure where there was. It was on screen for a moment. The problem is, okay, if I pause, if I, if, if we see it and I pause, we're looking at Bubsy. It's kind of a problem. This this is where I jumped up on here. I'm not entirely sure how I did that. It doesn't feel right. Like, this is how I got up here, but it doesn't feel like you're supposed to do it like that. Opening that one area change anything around here. to do that. It was pure luck that I did it the first time. I don't know how to replicate it.
shoots, he scores! Doing a lot worse on this guy than before.
All right, we'll do better that time. See if the when that happened. Let's see if the two lives is always in the same one. I think so. All right. So now we're back to where we were, which is that. So, at one point, <clears throat> I jumped up the wall somehow. It's unclear how. It was actually here, I think. And I don't know if I'll be able to replicate it, is the problem. bullets. So many bullets coming at you. Just, I don't know how I did it. Don't know how I got up there. What happened was I somehow got a double jump up the slope. Oh, like that. So you sort of side hop up it? So those yellow trees are where the rocket is, but, I mean, we don't need that. What we're looking for... Is we saw... For like one second, we saw the totem. Where was it? Oh, there it is. There it is. Okay. Yes, I know, Bubsy. We're gonna see. We're seeing you right now. Let me write this down. So we've got green, blue, red, yellow. <sighs> is that? Is this actually how you do it? How you actually get to this inner area? It doesn't seem like you... It doesn't seem like it. It seems like there is, like, a, another way that you're intended to do this. I don't know how. Some hidden path. Let's see. Where do we want to go? I 
sure this goes back here. Jumped off the wrong side. Okay, we'll just make our way over there. So now, after doing this, we're going to try that combination. And see if this works. I mean, it should. If it doesn't, I don't know why it wouldn't. Green, blue, red, yellow. Hard to stay on those platforms. Porter. Okay. Save point. Well, checkpoint. There's no saves, of course. Where are we getting teleported to? Up here. Alright, let's use our... We don't do... We haven't... Of course. We haven't done this too much lately. Ah. One of those laser guys. We haven't seen one of those guys in a bit. Not for a little while. else on this roof we should be looking at? On the edge? Maybe not. Oh. Oh, is this it? This is the... one of... these are the queens? These are the queens. You can shoot me through that wall. Okay, there's a switch. What's the switch do? All right, so there are some atoms, and there's a couple that are in like a, a shield. Guessing I need the atoms to shoot them. They seem like they have a, a shield above their heads. I guess that will protect them against my feet. Nope. Alright, 
I probably should go for those extra lives that are in here. Now. Right, so it looks like a big part of this fight is going to have to do with aiming. Th this... I think that connected. Connecting. I I guess I'm doing damage. And they're doing a lot of damage to me. It's a battle of attrition. No, that was that was her. That wasn't the switch.
unclear what to do. I mean, it, there's, there's an obvious thing to do. It's do it without dying. It seems like when I shoot them, it's very likely that they'll shoot me. Now, I if I if when I'm aiming, I seem to be invincible. But I can only hold the atom for a few seconds. So, it seems like I should try to position myself try to get myself in the position where I'm going to be aiming at them once I grab the atom but if I if I do that I'm vulnerable longer but if I just run into it and grab it as soon as I can I'm I'm invulnerable but I'm not aiming at them and probably won't be able to turn around in time so come in handy Bubsy, I was having trouble moving. At least that went well. Combo again. So now our now our problem of how to do this like it's pretty clear what the idea is but Bubsy just doesn't seem equipped in terms of mobility 
or agileness to pull it off. shoot me when yep when I'm not on that platform Hit that try to uh, 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 fell off back around an atom missed okay, this corner try this corner now She teleported. Is the reason that there are two queens because maybe they thought one was too easy? They made the last boss. Hey, it's a little too easy. Dupl no. Make it make another one. I'm quite sure that there's nothing else on this platform to look at. That hit her, but I also got hit. I don't know if she's invulnerable when she has that shield up. It seems I not sh I thought I was aiming at her, but it seemed like it went through her. Shields always up if I get close to them. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they are. Which is why we need to use the atom. Because I need to I'm gonna have a long distance attack. Yeah, her shield just goes right back up if I get close to her after attacking her. Man, there's no one there. I guess I need to go get a couple of lives.
She had the shield up. Right. If I jump on it while holding square, it doesn't grab. continuing but i'm going to need to take a little break if for another no other reason that the fingers on my left hand are not really uh responding as well as they should be 
Uh, so I'm just going to have to take a, a little break on that. As we continue on, the final stretch. As uh, we're on the the queens. Oh no! Why don't we Why don't we take a look at what the queens have to say? What it says What it say about the queens? Ahem. Polly and Esther, Rayon's two diva queens, the original bully slaves to fashion, don't particularly like bobcats, except maybe as throw rugs. And those magic crowns they wear won't make Bubsy's job any easier when he confronts them in the game's rayon shattering climax. That doesn't actually give any help. Um, I don't think there was anything in the tip section. Any tips? Uh, about... No, nothing about the queens here. No. Okay. Well, we'll take a break. And, uh... As I just... I try to, you know, get my hand working again. We'll see. Alright, you know what we're doing. You know what this is about. There's nothing more to be said. You just have to get through this castle. We have to enter the code. We have to fight that boss first, then enter the code. Then fight the queens. And we have to try to find a way to do enough damage to them. While not taking a ton of damage ourselves. Of course, that's the hard part, because they will constantly firing lasers at us. controlling Bubsy is not what you would call exact. So trying to do this frantic thing where you're running around the field and trying to get the atoms and aim the atoms and hopefully not get lasered to death is it's not, you know, it's not Bubsy 3D's forte. Really. It's not what this game is good at. It's not to say the game is particularly good at anything, but... Whatever it is it is good at, it's not this. Green, blue, red, yellow. Or, you know, just wait a sec. Yeah. <laughs> 
considering we only have the one health point. Maybe we should just try to get those one-ups. Instead of facing the queens right now. Handy? <clears throat> All right, let's give the queens a go. It's hard to say if they have any kind of pattern aside from just machine gunning you with lasers. The lasers go through the ground. There's no cover to be taken here. Wow, hit me from there. So long for him to turn around. I mean, I've, I know I've mentioned that plenty of times before. You know, I have a duck button. I really doubt that's gonna... I really doubt that would do anything. I doubt we could duck the lasers. That just... It wouldn't make sense. It'd be funny if that worked, but... I, I would doubt it. Right. And then, of course, when... We actually do hit someone with it. Adam. He frequently gets shot. Oh, one's down. One is down. It's the first time we've done that. It's the first time. I like it. Even though it's hitting nothing, it still bounces back at me. Oh yeah, look how much, how much less laser fire there is with only one. Well, I melted, but but we can see we can see it's possible. It is possible. Bubsy can do it. Hey, there's only one. There's only one. The other one's still dead. Teleported. I mean, she's taking it to me, even though she's only one. But it is good news that if, she, if one dies, they stay dead. 
Or at least until I get a game over. Yeah. I feel like it's a pretty common thing for when I start to turn around with the Atom. She will be the opposite direction. Like, I don't know... If, I don't know if she's teleporting when I do that. I just feel like it's common that she won't be in the direction I'm turning. Uh. Start getting shot before I'm on the platform. Turn around. Grab that. Nope. Grab that. That. Okay. Try to be a bit methodical. Oh, be a bit methodical. Don't need to rush. There's only one left. She wasn't anywhere. She must have teleported while I was turning. Teleported while I was firing. All right, that was a hit. Oh, yeah, there it is. There it is. Bye. Rocket. Yeah, yeah. Okay, rocket. I guess if, you, if you're collecting the rocket pieces, the queens have the last one. Loading. We did it. The queens are done. Let's see the ending. Or at least the ending we're getting since we didn't get the entire rocket. What but what ending does Bubsy get? He barely has any rocket. What is Bubsy's fate? We suffered heavy casualties, but Bubsy has left the planet. At approximately 4,500 hours, our majestic queens soundly defeated the furry villain and placed it into custody. Unfortunately, no one bothered to take the stolen rockets from the culprit. Within seconds, it had constructed a working model of the X-1 rocket that brought it to our planet. Here to explain what happened next is Rayon's most renowned scientist, Professor Wuri Nerdopowitz. Ahem. Using the stored atom capacity he'd built up in his fur. <laughs> now pay attention! This is important information! Please, Professor, continue. Uh, thank you, General. As I was saying, using the stored atom capacity he'd built up in his fur. <laughs> Excuse me. Excuse me. Now then. Using the stored atom capacity he built up in his fur. Which, I'd like to add, was stolen at the expense of the Wear Water and Power Company. You'll find this reflected in next month's electricity bill. <gasps> really? If I could be allowed to continue? Using the stored atom capacity he built up in his fur. Using the stored atom capacity he built up in his fur? The prisoner was able to make an escape. Now, 
Now, this clown does have a war lining. Our understanding is that the hairy fiend did not procure enough rockets to build a complete model. Professor? Uh, yes, General, you are correct. For example, this ship has neither an oscillation overthruster nor a flux capacitor. Ahem. <clears throat> Without these items, the ship's secondary inversion nasal invariant beam will emit a tachyon pulse that... In short, Mr. Fuzzy will find the rocket will not be able to return to Earth. Instead, it should be stranded somewhere between Saturn and Uranus. I've just been informed that we've been able to establish a link with the rocket's onboard camera. <laughs> That's the wrong feed! Try channel B12. Now, no one can stop our invasion plans. Earth and all its war will be ours! <laughs> all right, so the end is Bubsy gets trapped in space forever. That's a good ending. I like that. That's good. Bubsy did not get all the pieces of his rocket. He attempted to escape. He wasn't able to, and now he's trapped somewhere between Saturn and Uranus, I believe is what they said. And so Bubsy died alone in space. Hopefully eaten by, like, a great old one. I hopefully encountered a cosmic horror that showed him the terrors uh, unbeknownst to mortal man or bobcat. Um... I can only hope that happened and that his flesh was torn asunder from his skeleton and turned inside out, showing him the extreme experiences that are available to, to mortals, uh, in which there is no difference between pain and pleasure. I can only, I only hope that for Bubsy. I hope, I, I hope the worst for him. I hope the worst. So, that's been... Well, actually, I mean, we should probably look at the credits. Actually, it, it, the, there was no credit roll. That's odd. But you can get it... You can see the credits and the options. We need to know who to blame for this. I, can't, I mean, maybe that's why you don't have an automatic credit roll. In the hopes that maybe the, the player will not look at the credits. Ahem. <clears throat> can't believe you can turn Bubsy's voice off. Why would you want to do that? Here we go. Mark Blank, Mike Berlin, Susan Agashira. There's also Richard Hamm in design. Would you say this game was designed? I'm going to press gonna continue. We got the programmers, the artists... Level population, wizard slash wild card. Mark Blank was the wild card. There's data management, music and sound of music and sound effects. Okay, so no names are given for who came up with the music and sound effects. They're saying Loudmouth Incorporated. They are not giving any like they're not giving a person's name. I I, I mentioned this to the chat. I think this game quite possibly has the worst soundtrack I've ever heard in a video game. I mean, there might be something I'm not thinking of, but this this has got to be it. It's a miserable soundtrack. The sound effects are horrible. I hate everything this game does did to my ears. It's remarkable. It's remarkable. And I, I'm not surprised that no names are being attached to it. Voice talent is Lonnie Manella, of course. And I'm going to assume that she was just directed to do Bubsy's voice in the way that she did it. Like, so, you know, someone said that that's how she should do it. And, you know, she does. She she's the professional a VA. So she's going to do the the voice how she's instructed to do. And that's how it came out. <clears throat> also, thanks. Special thanks to Todd the Bod. What was what was Todd the Bod's contribution? I wonder. <clears throat> Here's Accolade. There were testers on this game. Did anyone listen to the testers? That's the question. 
Okay, those are the credits. <clears throat> those are the credits. Okay, Bubsy 3D. How do we feel about Bubsy 3D? Well, it certainly lives up to its bad reputation. Um, I mean, I'm thinking that, and I'm just playing it now. Never mind if someone bought this game when it came out on the PlayStation 1. And remember, as I mentioned in the chat before, the standard price for new PlayStation 1 games was $50. So that's probably what this game cost when it was on the shelves. Pay, go into your EB, pay $50 for this, bring it home. Are you happy? No. No, you're not happy. There's nothing about, you're, you would not be pleased in any way about this. <clears throat> I mentioned the story at the beginning about how this game was first shown on the same show that Super Mario 64 was, and the developers knew that they were screwed when they saw Mario, but I mean, that doesn't even matter, does it? It doesn't even matter. Even if Mario 64 didn't exist, um, <clears throat> it does not make this game any better. Look, the novelty of early 3D platforming can only go so far. <clears throat> it can only go so far, and that that novelty would not have saved Bubsy. It would not have made the game any better. Um, I mean, honestly, if you had played a 2D side-scroller platformer... Now, I've not played Bubsy 1, but it's got to be more responsive than this. It's not possible for it to be otherwise. So if you played a game that was somewhat at all responsive in its controls and jumping, and then you play this and you're wondering, probably be thinking, man, 3D sucks. Why do, why, 3D must, is, must be terrible? If this is what it is? <clears throat> and, um, yeah, I mean, maybe it's good for, for 3D, for the history of 3D that Mario 64 did, was shown at that time, so you could see a good version of a 3D platformer, and this is not the example that you would get. Also, Tomb Raider would have been around the same time. <clears throat> Tomb Raider does have deliberate controls, but the thing about that game is that you're kind of locked to a grid system, which actually, it works pretty well. I mean, it's not definitely, it's definitely an old-fashioned way of doing it. It doesn't feel modern at all, but... It works okay, um, in the way that works. This game does not work okay. It does not work okay in any kind of way. You might have noticed that many times in the game, I'm moving around by constantly jumping, and the result is that the camera is just facing down the whole time while I'm jumping in one direction. And, you know, I'm not sure if it was entirely clear why I kept doing that, but the reason was because that was the fastest and most accurate way to actually move anywhere by constantly jumping like that. And if I was if I was trying to evade enemies that were, you know, moving fast or shooting fast, that was really the only way to do it. Um, but it also resulted in the camera looking down the whole time, which was not ideal. Ugh. I'm trying to think there's anything good to say about this. And I... I'm... I can't think of anything, really. Like, not even, like, the 480i visuals with the sharp, untextured polygons. You... Frequently, that's a look I might... I might like. But not here. Not what's... Not, not what we're seeing here in Bubsy. Uh, I do... No. It lo It... It's horrible to the eyes. Um, you know, sometimes the old the old style untextured polygons can be a striking look. And with it Bubsy, it's it looks as bad now as it did when it first came out. Just like Bubsy himself is as lame now as when he first came out on the Super Nintendo. Um, I hope only the worst for Bubsy. I can't believe there was a new Bubsy game. Like, this was something that was being mentioned in the chat. How is it that there was like a multi-game Bubsy, Bubsy franchise? Like there's nothing to this character. There's nothing to him in terms of design. There's nothing to him in terms of personality. There's nothing to him in terms of backstory or lore or his enemies. 
it's a nothing character in a nothing franchise. How did this get so many games? How, how did this happen? It's just because people, some people knew the name, I guess. Hey, you know Bubsy? You remember that? Sure, I remember Bubsy. I guess that, I guess that has some value of the value of, hey, I remember that. Even if that thing you're remembering is Bubsy the Bobcat. Okay, so yeah, a completely miserable game. Wasn't it was a struggle to play. I was a little worried about that last boss, but I mean fortunately it turned out that if you kill one, it, that one remains dead after you die. So that made it actually possible to do this. But when I first got to that last boss, I was thinking, "Wow, I don't, I don't know how to do this. I feel like I do not have the tools to handle this fight. But it, it, it ended up working out. And I, I attribute that to cold pizza, which I ate before this last session. Cold pizza. It'll come through for you. Come through in the end. Uh, okay, as far as these annual punishment games go... How, where does this one go? Is this the is this one the worst? No, Superman is still the worst. This one's bad, but Superman is still the worst. Is it worse than Blue Stinger? I had a worse time playing Blue Stinger. I mean, Blue Stinger is more entertaining. But for the person actually person over here actually playing the game, I did have a worse time playing Blue Stinger. So then, Bubsy would come in after that, in terms of worst, I would say. Ride to Hell is a better game. Escape from Bug Island, better game. Tender Love and Care, better game. Um, so yeah. Superman's still the worst, then Blue Stinger, then Bubsy, then Ride to Hell, then... Uh, Escape from Bug Island. I don't know where I would put Tender Love and Care on that because that's not so much of a game. There's no gameplay in Tender Love and Care, so I'm not sure where that really goes on a list. I mean, you might say since it had no gameplay, that makes it the best playing game. And so you don't have to worry about bad gameplay. You can just worry about the funny FMVs and that you have a point. You would have a valid point. But okay. Last year I played the worst N64 game, Superman 64. This year I played what is probably the worst PlayStation 1 game. Bubsy 3D. I, I mean, there could always be possible there's like some obscure title that never came to the West that could possibly be worse. But like as far as well-known games go, this has got to be it. This has got to be it. <sighs> Maybe I'll be nicer to myself next year. I think I said that last year. But maybe I'll be nicer to myself next year. <laughs> we'll, we'll see. We'll see. But when I'm looking at the clock right now, it's 7.41 a.m. I started 7 o'clock p.m. last night. Of course, that's not over 12 hours of straight playing. We've, you know, we've had breaks. We have had breaks. Um, let me look at the back of this Bubsy box. Let me just read what it says and s let's see what we think about this. Ahem. Run, jump, swim, and fly anywhere in huge 3D worlds full of zany humor and the Bubsy tood. Scrounge up the 32 missing pieces of your escape rocket or kiss your homeworld goodbye. Shoot Adams and Bop Woolies, Clambos, and 12 other wacky creatures as you rip into Planet Rayon. Get your paws on a mess of Adams for extra lives, bonus rounds, and useful rocket fuel. Play Cat and Mouse in unique two-player mode. I guess none of these things is wrong. They're not saying anything's good or bad. They're just stating uh, features. But okay, let's look at those magazine quotes again. Uh, again, I mentioned this before, but from PS Extreme... 
underwater based levels very reminiscent of Mario 64. Were those underwater levels very reminiscent of Mario 64? Would you say? Now that we've experienced the underwater levels, <laughs> are, are you being reminisced of Mario 64? When you saw them, did you say, oh yeah, I remember this in Mario 64. Die Hard Game Fan said, Massive environment, go anywhere gameplay, and amazing depth give Bubsy an entirely new perspective. Alright, so... Massive environment, go anywhere gameplay. Does it count when the only places you can go are, like, those blue polygons over there? As opposed to those green polygons over there? Uh, there's a checkerboard floor over there. Like, this game doesn't have locations. It's something I mentioned when we got to the last level, and, like, it vaguely looked like a palace, or, like, a fortress, and I thought, huh, it looks like they're actually trying to evoke the idea of, a, like, a building here. But, like, for the most part, most of the levels in the game don't evoke the idea of any sort of structure or environment or field or anything. Like, there was a factory in a couple of levels. But I find it kind of remarkable about how uh, surreal the environments are. They don't actually look like anything. Actually, thinking about how they don't... Levels don't look like anything. They don't have any sort of cohesive flow to them. Would you say these levels were designed? Like, you hear about level design. Good level design, bad level design. Do these levels even have design? I think you can make an argument that they don't. They're just sort of polygons that you just run and jump on. Give Bubsy an entire... Amazing depth. What is this depth we're talking about? Anyway. Next Generation said dot 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 establishing a new standard in the platform genre, which I still think is a funny sentence because whatever's before that dot 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 could be absolutely anything could be anything well the sun has risen it's been the sun rose like an hour and a half ago i think where i am so it's probably time for me to shut down the playstation and um Say goodbye to this year's All-Nighter. Bubsy in 3D in Forbidden Planet. I feel like drawing just really violent artwork of Bubsy. I probably should suppress that urge. I probably should suppress that urge. Well... That's been Bubsy 3D. I hope Bubsy never finds happiness and hope he dies alone. <laughs>